Hello everyone, welcome to a DSP video. Uh, I don't know how long this will run, I know the last Hate Live Endure was like three hours. Uh, if we finish on time, or at a good time, uh, I might do some bonus vids, which which might be something, but if not, it is what it is. I have Cleo here to uh, to give me strength. Let's, depression. let's start right. this. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about, by the way. Even though you'll have comedians who are self-deprecating and they'll joke about their own depression and whatever, in reality, it's a very serious issue, and if you don't take it seriously, it could really negatively affect your life, the lives of others, to the point where if it's untreated and or unmanaged, it could result in death. Okay? Real talk. That's the bottom line. Real talk. I like it. You can kind of tell in the tone that he is just kind of, kind of proud of himself, full of himself. Be like, I'm going to talk about depression. It's going to be amazing. It is, he is probably running on his own, like, coattails on this. He is just so, so full of himself. Because he, he, he ends that by saying, it can end in death. It, it's just kind of, kind of feels kind of like a commercial, almost. Like, uh, whatever. It, it sounds like he just kind of, like, sat through a, uh, a TV special of depression. And he's like, I'd get attacked about this to my viewers, dude. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, okay. It's not. Some people, I hear such crazy misconceptions mm. about depression. I hear. Oh, and uh, DSP is the king of misconceptions. When I first listened to this, it, it is bonkers. Uh, I'm going to recommend to you guys to watch the King of Divas, the King of Divas vlogs. He has two videos, I think. Maybe one, maybe two. Uh, where he talk, where he kind of shows that DSP is kind of faking depression or whatever. Those those videos are really good videos. I do recommend those videos. Those were one of the first few videos I've seen of on his channel, and I was like, wow, this is this is something. So, uh, check the check those videos out. If I remember, I'll put them in the in the uh, links below and in, in the description below for you guys to check it out. It's a good video. People say things like. Oh, that's just someone who just loves to feel sorry for themselves. Just ignore them. They're just going to be over there and be negative about everything no matter what, right? I've heard that. Well, listen to that. Like, what, this is such a basic thing to talk about as an example. Because over the years, people's attitudes and, and feelings and thoughts towards depression has changed. Because, you know, for a while, there was a misconception with depression. And, and the only thing that persists is that people have kind of who self-diagnose themselves as depressed. Some of those people are probably thinking, oh, I have a bad day, that must be depression or something, you know? if you have, Because people do have negative thoughts, you do feel negative about yourself sometimes. That doesn't necessarily mean you have depression. Depression is a little bit more complex. And again, if you feel like you have it, you might want to get diagnosed by an actual expert on the matter to get more information. Because on the internet, you're not going to get good information. Uh, you know, like, if you go online to, get to like, type in stuff, I mean, you can get all kinds of stuff, you know, and that's not necessarily accurate. So I, I wouldn't really self-diagnose yourself on things. Uh, you know, it's not a good idea, if you ask me, TBH. I actually heard about two, three months ago on social media. It wasn't two, three months ago. It was about last year, I think, on social media. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this so, so, so it's a little bit clear, clear the air on this. I am not claiming that I'm an expert on depression or anything like that. I'm not going to, you know, bullshit you guys on that. So, you know, if I say something that is incorrect or, or out of line, feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Uh, or just, you know, yeah, uh, do whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm no expert. I do not claim to be an expert on it. I'm just going to go off my own opinions. If I'm wrong, hey, everyone is wrong sometimes on Twitter. There was a guy, some MMA fighter. I don't recall the guy's name. He wasn't a notable guy who I recognized, but the guy had like 100,000 followers and he was verified on Twitter. And the guy apparently is rich. He's got a you know, beautiful Adonis-like body, right? He's got a hot girlfriend or wife or whatever. So his life's perfect. Okay. And he literally said... I like how he's like, oh, his life is perfect. Before he went through like uh, Anthony Bourdain, all these other p famous people who, who uh, committed suicide... And he says that this guy is a perfect life. How do you know that, Dave? He literally talks about how, you know, the, de the suicides of these 
uh, famous actors are so surprising. And this and that, like, oh, no one would know because, you know, you see them, they have, they're have they rich, they're successful, and this and that. But this guy, oh, he has a perfect life, perfect body, and he's saying these things on Twitter. How do you know? He could have depression too, Dave. Okay. On his Twitter feed, he says the following. But remember, you cannot question Dave. DSP is absolute. People who are depressed just need to get out of the, that rut in their life. Depression isn't really an illness. It's just that people are not having good things for them. And therefore, you know, they're, they're stuck in this negative rut. But if you really work hard and you're determined to get out of that negativity instead of focusing on it and saying, woe is me, you can overcome depression and you can beat it and all of this. And he says this to his, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. And I started reading, being someone me, me, someone who actually has suffered from depression and still have it, you know. That's another thing I should say right okay. up front to you guys who never experienced depression or don't know anything about it. He claims to have depression. He says it's not to be joked about. But then you go to these videos. The person who made this part of the game and is a worthless this. human and should be actually disposed of, put into an fucking incinerator, and burnt to a crisp. I hate worthless humans. If you worked on this part of the game, you're a worthless human. Go kill yourself. Go fucking kill yourself. But remember, it, it's not okay to joke about it. He has depression, dude. Very serious. Real talk. Depression, even though some people claim to be cured of it, at least in my experience, it does not go away. Depression is something that when you get... That's like... How everyone talks about depression. It, this whole thing, this whole video is so basic and generic, and I'm not sure if I would say disingenuous. I'm not. I'm not necessarily sure, but it does seem fake because that description right there. Well, some people cure. It's a, and in my experience, it doesn't go away. I mean, that's almost like anyone that has depression. Some people get cured, get through it. Some people can't. Everyone's different. Everyone deals with it differently. Everyone. You know, deal with you know handles it their own way. I mean, it's not necessarily easy. It's not like a clear cut like oh, bam. You know, so him saying that is just kind of like you know, generic. Okay. Get it? It's there with you forever, and there's ways to manage it, and there's ways to forget about it, and ways to not bring attention to it, and forget about it. Yeah, I'm sure people who are depressed forgets about about it. Oh shit! I'm depressed. Oh god damn it! I just remembered. Okay, uh, and the, but what's also funny about this is that he literally just said everything that the other guy that he shat on said. The only thing that's different is that he that uh he didn't bring up like oh it's just, it's you know the uh it's not serious oh you know this that this what was me attitude he didn't say that but he said the parts where you know work through it uh you know focus on the positives and this and that 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 part of the tweet is what he just said. Shits on the guy, but, you know, remember, remember, he has a perfect life, so it's okay to shit on him, even though people who, who you know, who are successful can also be depressed. Wow, Dave, you're, you're a really, really good uh, person, eh? And basically focus on the positive things in life, but I think the, the best way that I can describe it is kind of like a little passenger that's always along for the ride and always is going to be there. And I know that sounds really fucking weird, because I think it sounds weird too, but it's true. That thing, the, the, the old passenger thing, I could have sworn. I could have sworn I heard it from somewhere on TV. I don't know where. I don't know if it was like a commercial for an antidepressant or whatever. I don't know, but I, I could have sworn I literally, literally heard this before. The, oh, it's a passenger. I could have sworn I heard that somewhere, and it's... And, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone someone in the comment section can uh, can agree with me on that because I could have sworn I I don't think this is a original DSP thought if you ask me. Like I'm gonna tell you some stuff in this segment is gonna be fucked up. Trust me. You're gonna be like, really? If you don't have depression, you're gonna what? Really? Yeah. Some of the things I'm about to say are gonna blow your mind. But oh, um, okay. It's true. Like it's not a person's fault who has depression, that they have it. This fucking guy on social media, it's your fault because you let yourself be a failure in life and you didn't work hard enough to get out of that failure and you gave yourself this woe is me attitude and that's not depression, that's you feeling so... You know? What the fuck? But he didn't really say it's their fault. 
I mean, it, he did say, like, oh, it's his woe is me attitude, but the thing is that you could kind of look at it as well, is to, is to just say, I don't, I don't know, I mean, it, 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 it whatever. <laughs> We're not talking about that, twi that Twitter guy, dude. What an awful, terrible, horrible thing to say to someone who's suffering from the disease because you the basically disease. turned them into a gu guilty they're yell guilty. They've done something wrong, and they're guilty, and that's why they have this this illness. That's not the case. Look they're at this. Remember this. He wants to correct this guy's misconception on depression. Remember that. He wants to correct misconceptions on depression. Remember that. There's people, yes, absolutely. There's people who have guilt over things, and that gives them depression. There's people who just get it. Guilt that leads to depression? I mean... The one thing that I, I kind of am seeing is that depression, depression, no one really has a clear understanding how people, like, get depressed. It's a very complex thing. It's, it's a lot like how we still don't necessarily know or understand very well how the brain works. I mean, they're, they're, I mean we understand that there's electrical synapses and all this stuff, but when you get into the nitty-gritty of the brain and the abstract thought process of it, no one really can kind of get a clear understanding of it. There's been theories, there's been, you know, people still doing research on it. Depression is one of those things that people are still trying to understand. You know, and as, you know, medi as uh, the medical field advances and all this stuff, I mean, you know, we, we, we only understand as much as we learn. It could be hormonal. It could be just wires crossed wrong in your fucking head. You know, you can't place blame for someone getting an illness like this because it's not necessarily something that's resulting in that someone did something wrong. An illness. Or was not determined enough, didn't work hard enough. You know what I mean? That's like the worst possible thing, all right, that you could say about it is that it's someone's fault and, you know, that's ridiculously bad. Take a sip. Chew the water, kiss the mic. Okay, so people now are, are going to argue with me about semantics because they're being jerks in the street. It's not a disease, it's a disorder. All right, it's a disorder. Look, he did this whole discussion about depression to specifically talk about the misconceptions of depression. Specifically to do that. His check corrects him on his own fucking misconception of calling it a disease. And this is how he responds to being corrected. Okay. See, see, here's the thing. There, there's a difference. If we are going to talk about depression, and let's say that you're not, like, you're like me, and you're not an expert on it, and you say something that's incorrect, it's one thing to say, "Oh, I, oh, I'm wrong in this. Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I got this. I got this thing wrong. It's actually this. You know, if you at least apologize or understand that what you said is wrong, and you correct it after, after the fact, or just say, "Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm wrong there." Okay, you know, no harm done. I mean, you, you understand what was wrong about it. But to, to get something wrong, get corrected, and then be like, Oh my god, you fucking you argue me about semantics? Eh. And he gets this fucking shitty about it. What a what a great fucking uh, guy Dave is. Talking about depression. Okay. And he, and he fucking mocks these people who might also have it. And telling them what it, what it actually is. He disorder. And he gets this fucking angry at them. Okay. And it's not what I'm talking about. We're not here to argue semantics and shit. All right, we're here. They're to not arguing semantics. They're telling you that it's a disorder. A disorder and a disease are two very different things. A disease is literally something that can be cured. De depression is like. Okay. To talk real okay, quickly about what this what this is this disorder. I'll call it a disorder. Oh, for the little Nancys who might get offended that I say. A that. very serious discussion. Oh, they're your little Nancys. For telling me what it actually is. Okay, Dave. Thumbs up. Disease instead of disorder. Oh my god. Take okay. So. The just bottom line is it could, it could just be as small as a self-doubt. Alright. That balloons into something way worse. Look at that. We're literally going to like put everything under the umbrella of depression. Oh, you have a little doubt. Depression. Oh, man. I, I didn't like today in class. I did bad on this exam. Oh, must be depression. Oh, I just remembered. I have depression, dude. Wow. 
yeah, I really wanna wanna take DSP's word for depression. I mean, he he sounds like an expert, dude. It could be something that that actually happens because of something negative in your life. So it could be, you know, you're confident about something, and all of a sudden one day you don't feel confident, and you start building up this big ball of negativity about not being confident anymore, right? Um, that's a that's literally a self esteem issue. You lose confidence. You don't feel positive about yourself. I mean, that that's pretty much that. Depression isn't that that simple. It really isn't. And for him to talk about it, it's like, oof. Or it could be you're super confident about something and you fail. And now because you fa you face this adversity, now you get this this big ball of man. I I'm not good enough, and I'm not. I'm never gonna, never going to be good enough. That's that's not depression though. That's literally you feeling terrible about yourself, being like, "Oh man, I I failed at this," and and this that like it, it's it's not depression. Good God, Dave, why DSP? Why did you talk about this fucking thing if you don't know what it is? To do what I thought I could do, um, <clears throat> it could be based off of many different factors: physical appearance, physical appearance, really. Then, okay, intelligence level financial level skill you know, skill level at any kind all these things can be changed though you, you can work towards something like i took a i took a biology course during the spring and one of the uh you know the programs they use to do like work to do assignments literally said like oh you, you know if you feel this homework assignment don't worry you know you can always try again and and just know and learn that, you know what you got wrong and this and that it like goes over self-esteem issues, and that's what it is, uh, in regards to that, I should say. Kind of a challenge in your life. Or whatever. It could be a mental one, it could be a physical one. Um, okay. It could be anything. That's what it I mean. Anything, like, like, when people say depression in general, it's that's a very generalized term. This could Depression's be a, a generalized term. Yeah, I think it's, it became a generalized term because a lot of people who don't have depression, who have a bad day, think that they have depression. You know, it's, 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 DSP is the kind of person that probably thinks that he has fibromyalgia. He, he probably thinks fibromyalgia is an actual thing. I, I guarantee he's one of those people. A disorder that forms from so many different pieces of a puzzle that could create this inside of a person. All right. Um, but in general, it usually comes from a moment of negativity, a moment of weakness. Um, you know, it, even though it, it should be said. That, like I just said, you could be the richest person on the planet, the happiest person on the planet with absolutely everything uh, that you would ever want. The guy who, the uh, Twitter he was talking about, the MMA fighter, he could have, a, he, he said he has a perfect life and how dare he see that tweet, right? Well, that guy could be also going through depression, dude. And you could still suffer from it. It could okay. still be like, man, I feel terrible about this or that, okay? Now, what I can tell you is my own experience, all right? My right. own experience with it and how it's affected my life, okay, and how I've dealt with it. Because really, I, I the thing is, it's different for everyone. That's another thing I should say. It's different for everyone. This is not a universal thing that's identical. Every single person is different, okay? Every single... Look at this. He's going to hide behind this now. Well, see, my depression is different. I'm a different person, dude. Your depression might be this. My depression... Is that the trolls come into my chat, okay? And they start saying nasty things. <laughs> okay? I post nasal drip. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know... He's gonna be hiding behind this. He, he's, he's making ex excuses as to why he could be considered having depression when he... I really doubt he has it. single person on planet Earth is different to begin with. But everyone who goes through this and has it has to deal with it differently because everyone might have it to a different extent and for a different reason. There are some people who definitively, if you if you get rid of the problem, maybe it'll go away for them. And there's other people, if you get rid of the problem, it will never go away. What? So they get rid of the problem, they're not going to have depression anymore? Depressed pe people with depression. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. So people with depression, they get a problem out of their lives. And then they're cured? Okay, I I really, really don't think it's that simple, but okay. Okay, it'll always just fucking be there. And there's different options and different things you can do to, to negate that or to, to mitigate that is what I meant to say.
Okay. Take a sip. All right. Chew the water. And by the way, I see people are cheering. I'm not going to read those because I want to focus on what I'm talking about. All right? I do. This is serious. I just want to get through this before anything. Okay? So, all this being said, um, in my case, you know, back in high school, I started having feelings, you know, of self-doubt and things like that. And that's normal. When you're in high school, that's... He told us in high school, he like, all the girls wanted him. He was, like, a hot shot. You know, he was Mr. Popular. Remember that. It's like the time of your life when you're just riddled with emotions. And you're in the middle of puberty. And all these changes, life changes are going on in your life. And you feel these no weird shit. feelings back and forth. Like, maybe you're not good enough or whatever. And, you know, that's fine. But for me, I can tell you guys, without, without actually the, telling you the full extent of it... I was on a cocktail of medications, okay? <laughs> and... <laughs> Man, cocktail of medications. I mean, usually people would kind of, you know, take their medications a little bit seriously, you know, you know, because medications are, you know, a big thing. On a cocktail. Oh, boy. What a, what a funny thing to say. I mean... <laughs> but for me, I can tell you guys, without, without actually the, telling you the full extent of it, I was on a cocktail of medications. So funny, okay? man. <laughs> and yeah. one or wow, two of dude. the medications, known side effects were that it could cause depression. But I didn't oh. know that. Oh, so you got, you got depression from medication. That's that's what it is. What was the medication for? <laughs> no, I, I'm curious why you would be on a cocktail of medication. Like a cocktail. I mean... That doesn't sound like it, it was like a small little thing. It sounds like you needed a lot of medication, which is a little excessive. And, you know, from his laugh, it doesn't sound like it actually happened. Because I didn't read the side effects. I was just trusting my, my people who were making patients. Known side effects were that it could cause the full extent of it. I was on a cocktail of medications. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> and one or two of the medications, known side effects were that it could cause depression. But I didn't know that because I didn't oh. read the side effects. I was just trusting my my people who were making these decisions for me. So your parents. So I can't say parents. I mean, if you're saying that your people that make decisions for you kind of kind of alludes to your parents, because when you're at that age, your parents do make a lot of decisions for you. And so I ended up taking this medication that literally within like two this medication I thought it was a cocktail of medications now it's just medication okay two months of me taking the medication my the medication. personality was changing okay. now why doesn't he give us the brand this medication gives people fucking depression oh I'm not gonna tell you the the brand of it you'd think that'd be very handy information to tell us you know you might have a viewer that might be taking taking the same medication not gonna tell you what the medication is so. Guess you're gonna find out the hard way that you're on the same medication, eh? Good, good person DSP. I'm gonna talk about this whole thing about depression, but I'm not gonna tell you this medication that gives you depression. And depression can lead you to, to killing yourself, but I'm not gonna tell you the medication that gives you depression. Okay. Okay. I went from this, like, more okay. positive, happy-go-lucky kind of a guy to more of, like, a dark, a brooding kind of guy. Oh, and he, be, he became I Edgelord. You know that that jack that a uh, picture of him in that like Punisher jacket trench coat. It all makes sense now. The medication did that. The medication picked out the clothes for him, dude. Felt in my head that I'm never gonna have success. It doesn't matter how much I work at life or how much I do that I'm gonna be worthless. You know, girl. While he tells us that he's successful all the time, every day for ten years, ten year legacy. Girls will never like me. Um... Girls will never like me when he got a cat. Look, I got a cat, okay? That means that I'm clearly charming, and, and she loves me, dude. Okay. You know, it's just real negativity, a big ball, everything, just negative, 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 okay? No matter okay. what, how success I have, I would do great. He really loves doing this face. I, I, I've been noticing that, like, okay, okay. Cool, you know. Uh, go on a date with a girl or whatever, go to, you know, hang out with my friends, having fun, and I would be the outgoing kind of happy-go-lucky guy. But that was my outer appearance. Inside, in my head, it was literally the opposite. Like, I... Wait, okay. 
he tells us that he was a happy-go-lucky, outgoing guy, and then the cocktail, I mean medication, I mean cocktail medication, but it was a medication that he took, made him dark and brooding, but then he was outgoing, but inside he wasn't. Okay. Feel free to correct me on this, but I kind of don't think people who are depressed would kind of go out, you know? I mean, if they take medication, if they find ways to, to get through it, sure, you know, may, maybe they would be able to go out, but I'm, I'm, really don't think depressed people are very, very outgoing people. I felt like I was worthless. Oh, whatever. Like, I wasn't a friendly guy. Like, people were just bullshitting me. I wasn't a good guy. I wasn't fun. That's not depression. That's, that is kind of paranoia. The med medication can cause paranoia. Could be that. Uh... But it could also just be just personal negativity, like, you know, okay. Funny, I wasn't attractive. None of those things mattered. There was all bullshit in my head, you know, because that's what it does to you. It eats you from the guy. Like, people were just bullshitting me. I wasn't a good guy. I wasn't funny. I wasn't attractive. None of those things mattered. There was all bullshit in my head. You know, because that's what it does to you. It eats you from the inside. It's kind of like they say a toxic thing or a virus. It'll eat if you don't think you're funny, then then why do you make jokes? You know, if you if he thought if if your depression says you're not funny, I mean, I'm doing all DSP's little little speech here, then why would you make jokes? Then you, wouldn't you be more inclined to not say anything? Okay. Eat your psyche from the inside and make you feel like no matter what you do out in the real world isn't really happening or is it just futile? It's gonna it's not gonna last. That you're still eventually going to fail. You're still eventually going to have this big negative thing happen to you. Okay? Okay. Now, the good news is, eventually I got off the medication. And I stopped. I mean, I could tell you. I mean, real talk. When I was in high school, at one point, I was to the point where I, I was losing it. I wanted to either go do something drastic. Oh, I, I, I was losing it, dude. Looking around. Can't, can't really... Look at the camera, man. Or, you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was, like, obsessed with for a while, and I really do feel like the reason was because of the medication I was taking, and it wasn't because I actually was legitimately, like, 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 liked that girl. It was just the meds were fucking with my head. And so I was thinking... He, com he tells us that, oh, man, we use everything against DSP, but he tells us this. Okay. Doing crazy shit, all right? Cra crazy shit. You know, if you're stalking a girl, just say, oh, oh, man, it's the medication. I'm doing crazy shit, dude. I'm sure she'll understand. Once the meds ran out, it kind of went away. But that nagging feeling back here and your trapezius? never went away. So right my here? whole life, everything that I've strived okay. to do, everything that I so tried to turn into a pot. You know, I say a lot of times I'm the king of hate. Right, I'm the guy that when people talk down to me and they say I can't do something and I'm a, I'm a piece of crap and I you know I use that negativity I use that toxicity to fuel me, right? To say no, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to punch through the boundaries. I'm going to become, uh, you know that person that they say I can't be and I'm going to be successful no matter what. But even though I have done that, there's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me that I'm a bad person. It's telling me that I don't deserve any success. It's yeah, you don't. What things have you done to earn the money you get? What, what did he do to earn $300 in tips? It's telling me that I'm ugly. It's telling me that I'm fat. It's telling me that I'm gross. It's telling me that I'm not funny, that I'm worthless. Hey, you know, I, I don't think I'm a fucking Adonis. Does that mean I'm depressed? Oh, man. I don't I don't think I'm a, I'm a hot guy. Oh, guess I'm depressed, dude. That I'm a sellout, that I'm a shill. You I'm are a sellout. You are. You literally have done everything to be everything you hated. That's pretty much what a sellout is, Dave. Piece of crap that I don't deserve any Thumbs up. kind of positivity. I don't deserve my girlfriend. I don't deserve the love of my parents. Really? You don't deserve a girlfriend? Is that why... Okay. He has been bragging about Kat for, like, months. And he's telling us he doesn't feel like he deserves her. Okay. I don't deserve to live. And it's there. Now, he told us before... Mr. Hutstuff has the video. I, I tweeted this out yesterday. 
he literally said he never thought about committing suicide. Now he now now it's a thought. Okay. And now he has been thinking about it, but it wasn't but not before. Okay. There. And it never fucking goes away. It doesn't matter how much you try, you know, for me at least. No, I'm sure I'm sure what he's going to say if you come up to him and say, "Hey, DSP, you you said that you never thought about suicide. This is what he would tell you, I guarantee, for verbatim. I did tell you, dude, okay? It's very complex. I just didn't want to tell you guys, <sighs> okay? I'm sure he's going to tell you, uh, like, a, a lie similar to that. He's going to tell you, oh, I, I, I didn't want to tell you guys about that. Even though he said he's the most realist motherfucker in, on the planet. Okay. I've never been able, you know, even the moments of my greatest success... You know, I'm at Evo, and I'm kicking Evo. ass in a tournament or whatever. Really? You brag about Evo every chance you you get. He banned a guy for saying, oh, I did this offline. Well, I placed at a tournament, so you're full of shit. Okay. Yeah. And I feel great about myself. Within a day, it's gone. Because this yeah, it's back. gone. It's gone. That's why he brings it up every time he talks about Street Fighter. It's gone, guys. He doesn't feel he doesn't feel proud about it. Okay. He tells me I'm a piece of crap, you know, or you know, on YouTube, I'm making big money. I'm putting out videos on YouTube that are getting hundreds of thousands of views. I'm being told I'm one of the funniest let's players there's ever been. Funniest let's players that ever been. Okay. And I'm getting massive success on YouTube, and everything's telling me you know great. Okay. And it's back here, and it's telling me nope. Fuck you, you're a piece of crap, you know. You're, you're a piece of garbage. Telling me, you know, great, okay? And it's back here. And it's telling me, nope, fuck you, you're a piece of crap, you know. You're, you're, a, you're a piece of garbage. And, uh, you know, it never goes away. There's always self-doubts, for example. Um, All that shit is so generic. Oh, it's a voice in my head that's telling me I'm terrible, i garbage. Was he watching House? Okay. You'll be told that you're good looking. Okay? Your depression won't let you feel that. Even though you'll look in the mirror and say, okay, and people will tell you, you know, you look good. Nope. Your depression will tell you no. Okay. So, so if someone tells me, so if I don't feel like I, I'm good looking one day and someone tells me I'm good looking, I'm going to be like, no, no, dude. My depression says I'm not, so... Like I, I'm I'm sorry, but I really don't think depressed depression is a voice like it's just it's not just a voice though, and it's like more complex than just telling you bad feelings about yourself. But okay. Oh look at this this cheer by uh Ananovich. Derek says I've been depressed too, that's why I look to friendly streamers for validation. I don't feel happy about JK just jo oh my, oh my god anonymous wow what a what a great great member in his chat all right there'll be there's days all right there's days by the way very serious discussion let's keep the uh, notifications of him dancing like a horror in his little animations and all that let's keep those up for this it's a very serious talk when I wake up and by the way there's idiots in the stream chat. Telling me that I they don't know they're idiots. I'm just gonna ignore all of them because they're just there to call They're idiots. Trouble as usual. There's days when I wake up and for absolutely no reason. There's no th nothing that's triggered it. I just feel incredibly sad, a ball of sadness, right? For no reason. It's not like I woke up and things went wrong today, or I woke up. You know what I mean? I'll just be sad for no fucking reason. Okay. I I I felt bad about myself some days too. Does does it really mean I'm depressed? It just means I have a bad day. Okay, okay, Dave. Okay, and why? And you try. That's the thing too. If why? you try to treat it with logic, it doesn't work because depression is not logical. Depression is not like cause and effect. Oh, you know, I cut my leg and my leg hurts. It's not like that. It's like it could just happen, and one day you feel like shit for no fucking reason. There's been days. This is real. But he took, but he blamed the medication. Okay. 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 
take a sip. When I was doing YouTube. Dude, that sip, he looks very concerned. <laughs> Happy. Con look at and that concerned sip. feel like shit for no fucking reason. There's been days, this is real, okay? Look at that face, he looks so, like, concerned. Like, he's... It kind of looks like he's afraid to uh, to talk about this. Like, he's afraid that someone's going to poke holes in his theory, dude. When I was doing YouTube for a living, and I told you guys that I could, couldn't work today, I don't feel good. That's because I was depressed. That's not because I was actually physically feeling bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a tummy ache. Oh, oh depressed. Uh, I was depressed, dude. Okay. So, during that Dragon Ball Fighter stream where you were, like, debating canceling it, were you depressed then? Okay. Bad or sick? It's because I woke up and I felt awful. My mind was fucked, and I just... Probably because you drink a lot of gin that night. Couldn't even get my head together to get a thought without thinking negative, terrible, sad thoughts, right? And what depression does, it also makes you focus on negative times in your life. But I thought that, uh, you know, you, you have to distract yourself from depression, dude. I I just love... He told, he told people before, I think it was in a Ask the King, that, oh, the best way to... Avoid depression to not think about it. Distract yourself. Why didn't you distract yourself that day? If it was that easy, come on. Life, even if you're not in them anymore. There'll be, I'll, there'll be a day. I'll be in the middle. All right. I'll be, by the way, I wish that we had, okay, thank you. Thank you, Popsicolo. He finally stepped up and he started yeah. to ban some of these idiots. Finally, Popsicolo. Wow, dude. Right. There have been days when I'm in the middle of something completely positive and fun. Right? There's no reason for me to be sad. There's no reason whatsoever for me to be thinking about negative things from my past. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the thought of something incredibly bad and negative. Guess what? Sometimes I negative thoughts do go in my mind. I think of like bad things. I you know there are things I I also regret in the past. This kind of shit. You know all the all that stuff. Doesn't mean I'm depressed. It just means that I just thought about it. You know, your brain, like, you do remember things. Like, you remember things both positive and negative. Really? Really? You're gonna see this depression? Okay. Okay. I guess uh, we're all depressed. Everyone's depressed, guys. Because, uh, you know, sometimes we think negative thoughts about ourselves or in general. We're, we're fucking depressed, guys. Welcome to the club. If from my past jumps into my head and it kills my mood and it makes me sad as shit or angry or upset. You know? Why? I didn't, you know, what, nothing triggered it? Nothing fucking triggered it at all. It just, boop, and it fucks you, you know? Boop. You could be in the middle of something tremendously happy, and it sucks the happiness out of you, all right? And it sucks, because you could try. So if I play a video game, I'm like, oh, shit, you know, this happened. Oh, I'm depressed. Okay, it, it's so weird how he des he describes it. It it just seems like that, that people go around, and they just... Act normal, then all of a sudden there's like, oh, shit. I'm fucking depressed. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna, you know, be depressed. And again, like, no one really, like, does this when they're depressed. I mean, again, like, I'm not gonna pretend, like, I'm Mr. Expert here and be like, oh, let me tell you about depression, okay, dude? <laughs> I mean, it's it's like, if I don't have a good idea of what it is, I, I'm probably not going to pretend like I know. It's just, it's very, very, con it's very coincidental that everything that he, that goes on in his life happens to be depression. And that's kind of what I was like, kind of sound like bullshit, because I don't think that's how it works. Okay. As much as you can to get rid of it, or you can try to like distract it, it. And it's not even that. It's also like, it's just very generic. Like, it just sounds like he just spent a night Googling depression and just took notes on what it is. And is just regurgitating what he researched last night. It doesn't really sound like it's coming from his own perspective. You know, I'm sure if you talk to someone who's, who has depression, they're going to give you something that's a little more, like, different and more elaborate and more, like, you know, genuine. This just... Sounds like he just looked at WebMD and it's like, oh, oh man, you know, like I, I could probably go online, take a bullshit test and self-diagnose myself as something like that, that I'm not, you know, I'm sure that I could probably like say, guys, I've ate, I have social anxiety because uh, when I go outside, 
you know, I start to worry about everyone around me and I start like kind of, you know, be like, oh man, I want to go home. Must be social anxiety. Okay. You know, um, and it doesn't go away. It's, you it's, know, just it's a, still there. Still there. You know, everything he's saying is so generic. It's, it's painful. Oh, it's a voice inside your head. Oh, your the voice tells you negative thoughts. Oh, you have a good day, but then, and then you think something negative out of nowhere. It happens spontaneously, dude. Okay. And it sucks. It's people and just like people, ignorant idiots in the stream chat are saying right now as I'm describing this to you. I mean, and 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 the biggest tell is literally him calling it a disease and then getting angry when people say it's a disorder. He made the, he does this video to exp to explain the misconceptions of it. And then gets mad when people say that no, no, it's an a it's actually a disorder. Kind of, kind of shows you that he literally doesn't really care enough to know what it really is. Because the thing is, is that if you have depression, I'm pretty sure you can you would do a lot of research and you probably would know more about it, and you'd probably be like, oh, you know, it's this, it's this, and this, and this, and you'd probably be a little bit more well versed in it than a person who doesn't have it. You know, if the person who doesn't have it knows about depression, they probably have to do it because it's either in their job description, like, they might be a psychiatrist, they might be a doctor, and they might need to know about depression. So, you know, there you go. But if you're just, like, a random civilian, a random person, and you don't know, you know, you don't really need to know depression because, you know, you don't deal with it in your life. And then you get to do a video talking about depression. Okay, you know. Oh, that's just a self-esteem issue. Oh, it's this and that. Wrong. And that's what I mean. That's the worst thing you can do. Here we go. So telling DSP that what he has is a self-esteem issue, that's the worst thing you can do. If you don't know someone, and you're listening to someone describe something to you, and you and you think it sounds like it's a self-esteem issue, and you say, it sounds like you have a self-esteem issue, if you're depressed and you say no, no, it's uh, you know I it is depression and you had and you've been diagnosed by an actual professional, you know there you go. But if you're seriously describing something with basic shit like DSP has, it's really hard to make the case that you have depression. You know you, I don't know. To someone who has this is to tell them they're wrong. Their problem isn't valid. It's something else. And how dare you act like you have a problem? That it's really funny. Right? So he goes through through this whole thing with, with, with his depression. And one thing that everyone keeps telling him from the past, you know, everyone told him this before, oh, this is a uh, social anxiety issue you have. This, not social anxiety, this is a self-esteem issue. This issue sounds like you just have a bad day, less than that. And now it's, if you tell me that, that's the worst thing you can tell me, dude. Ten years, and, like, for a good portion of it, people have been telling that his depression isn't real. Oh, but now it's the worst thing you can say. If it was really that bad, if it was really the worst thing you could tell him, because people have been telling him this before, I, I, don't, I, I think it would his depression would have gotten worse by now. Just, just saying. That's the worst thing you could do, because it just makes them feel even worse. It makes them- Yeah, dude, if you tell me that I don't have depression, you're making me feel worse. Don't- don't tell me I don't have it, okay? <sighs> Alright. Now I'm even more worthless because maybe I don't really have this problem. It's just me. I'm a weak- Maybe you don't have it, DSP. Maybe that's why you, you feel that way. Because maybe deep down you know it's true. ...person. And I'm a piece of crap. And, you know, I, I you know, again- Maybe you are a piece of crap. It just- it compounds it. It makes it even worse. So literally, the reaction that I've gotten from people in the stream chat who don't have it and don't- What do you know? So the people in the stream chat that also might be suffering through depression, that might be correcting him on things, that also might be telling him that he doesn't have it. Oh, they're making him feel worse, dude. Okay. Yeah. Great thing to say, right? Don't understand it, okay, is exactly the kind of reaction that makes it worse in people. So God- So, so, so him telling people who might have depression that might be telling him that what he's describing isn't what they're going through and telling them that they're wrong. He's literally telling telling them things that he said that it's the worst thing to tell someone who has who who's depressed. Yeah, I I really feel like he's he's very genuine with this with this opinion, dude. He really has it, dude. Come on. 
God forbid, if someone, you know someone who has it or says they have it or they're feeling down and like, do not react in that manner. That is just going to make them... If a family member really has depression, I probably, you know, the, fa the family would probably know and they probably would, would, would handle it. But it's really hard to take DSP seriously because he tells us several different stories all the fucking time. The whole thing with VR chat, for example, went from him actually saying that he wants to stop the kid in real life to, oh, oh, I, I was actually talking to a about a hypothetical kid to, oh, I was talking about his parents. And he wants us to believe him. He can't even keep his own story straight. And he wants us to believe that he has depression. Oh, but if you tell him he has, he doesn't have it, you're, you're going to make him feel worse. Okay, so it's a it's a lose-lose for everyone. Okay, GG. It works, okay? What now, a sleazy, sleazy way to look now. at it. There are some ways that you can deal with things, all right? Ways that I have found to try to counter it doesn't always work but here's some things oh i gotta, gotta throw that it doesn't always work in case someone says oh it doesn't work number one you got to try to distract yourself with something that takes a lot of concentration and what yes the distraction method yeah that's gonna work i mean again it's like you have to forget about your depression because that, that's definitely possible dude okay he has depression, remember, he has depression, but he's able to distract himself from it. It's literally what self-esteem issues are. If you're able to distract yourself from something, it doesn't really mean you have depression. Okay. What I mean by that is if you're feeling just terrible, awful, afflicted with this thing, sad, right? What the fuck? Get yourself sad. You know, I, I, I've seen people talk about depression about it, and the one thing that I've, I have seen a lot is that it's more than just fucking sadness. He's like, oh, you feel sad, you feel down, dude, you feel like you're a piece of crap. It's, like, it's more than just fucking sadness. Again, it shows how little he fucking knows if all he's talking about is the sadness of it. Depression is more than that. But remember, guys, he has it. If you tell me he doesn't have it, you're you're gonna make him feel even more sad, dude. Involved in something that's going to completely distract you to the point where you can't really be thinking about it. Okay, so what was Anthony Bourdain doing then? He ran two t television shows. Television shows aren't easy to run. It's not like he sat there and did nothing. He did more work in his job than DSP does on his in his job. Okay. You need to concentrate. Sometimes it's physical activity for some people. Go work out, right? I gotta lift some fucking weights or I gotta go do something physical. You know, some people who, who renovate houses and shit, you know, do that stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Um, for some people, it's mental. Wait, so people who are depressed who renovate houses go out and work. That is a very, very strange example. Okay. I'm gonna go play a really great video game that I know I love and it takes a lot of concentration. It's very challenging. You know, he says this, but every time he plays a game that's challenging, he cries like a baby about it. So do, I don't think challenging video games work for Dave, for DSP. I'll be honest. Or <laughs> it could be something else. I don't know. Oh it my God. On your own personal you know, situation and what you like to do and stuff. And it doesn't even have to be something you like. It could just be something that you need to distract yourself. Okay. Be so if I do something I don't like, wouldn't that make it worse though? If depression is making you feel bad, and you do something that you don't like, wouldn't that make you feel even worse? Okay, alright. Because the bottom line is, if you can get yourself pulled I mean, away from- I mean, literally going off what DSP's been telling us what depression is, these, these, this advice, these, this tips he's giving us sounds even worse. It doesn't sound like it helps, it sounds like it exacerbates the problem. And he even doesn't work for what he does. He he says if he doesn't like what he's doing, he 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 wouldn't do it. So it just blows my mind. Everything he's telling us doesn't work for him. And he's like, oh well, th this does works for me, but it doesn't work for him. He cries when there's challenging video games. He tells us many times that if he doesn't like doing something, he's just gonna drop drop it. He didn't like playing Bloodborne on on New Game Plus, so he dropped the game.
He didn't like the Neo DLC. Drop that too. So, so why would we listen to him? What, what beacon of, of help does these be offered to people who are depressed? If anything, if I'm depressed and I watch him, I'd probably get more depressed, to be honest. Okay. What a, what a great video. From having that just inundated all of your thought, you're going to end up feeling better. I mean, even if it's it, Look, I, again, I'm no expert on depression. I might have said something that's completely wrong or, or insensitive in this video, and I apologize for that if I ever did, you know, cross those lines. But, you know, I guarantee I guarantee, I, I probably am more, like, thoughtful than DSB is with this. I mean, at least I'm a little bit more like, well, you know, I think about it. Because I think about what, I, what I'm saying sometimes. It's like, well, this may not be true necessarily, and what I'm saying might be harmful. But DSB just goes on with it. What he said literally doesn't help himself, and he's telling us this as, as if it helps people. Okay. It's not consciously like, oh, I realize now that I'm not, you know, I got my, off my mind. You'll still feel better. You see what I mean? And she, maybe you're going to end up feeling better, even if it's not consciously like, oh, I realize now that I'm not, you know, I got my, off my mind. You'll still feel better. You see what I mean? Yeah, I'm sure that hell, that happens a lot. I mean, honestly, I would just rec uh, if you really want to know more about depression, either do re do actual research, don't do DSP research, don't do that, or talk to people. You know, learn, learn from other people. Listen, watch uh, documentaries, watch videos. You know, learn. If you really want to know about it, learn about it. D don't go, don't do the DSP route and just pretend you have it and then just go through bullshit. Because this is what this is. Oh. Oh man, this is what this is. It's bullshit. It's like it's like he's writing an essay the day before it's due. Like you know, it's like the the meme of college essays. You you just magically become an expert on things during your essay, and it's like, yeah, you know, it it's no, it's like the uh the college philosopher. You take one philosophy class, and all of a sudden you're like you know you're a a a, a, a dollar store Plato or a, a dollar store Socrates. Oh, life is so different. Oh, man. Do we exist? Oh, man. What's reality? I'm a philosopher. You know, it's like, it's like the most bare minimum you can talk about. This is the bare minimum of research. It's not even research. This is like just talking out your ass. And he, and he wants to talk about depression seriously. Well, he has all these links, leaderboards, uh, you know, he, he makes fun of people who call it a disorder, who he corrected him on that. Okay, but he wants to be serious about it. Okay. I mean, and she, maybe it'll go away. That's what I've noticed sometimes. If I'm feeling real shit, and if I can get myself distracted doing something else, okay, um, it could make things better. But I can tell you, some days it's horrible when, like, I'm feeling bad. And it hasn't happened recently, I should say that, by the way. But if I'm feeling real bad... It hasn't happened recently. Have you read your tweets? And I have to come on stream. I know I have to come on stream to work, right? I have to come on stream to pay the bills. And now I have to put on a happy face for you guys. When in reality, on the inside, all I'm feeling is sad, 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 or, you know, upset. Sounds like stress. Because he has debts, he has bills to pay, he has taxes, uh, he has this mystery thing that's going on. He has to pay, he has to pay for two condos. Sounds more like stress. Okay. Upset, upset, terrible about myself. You know, all these these feelings. And it sucks because, you know, I have to. You know, I can't, you know, like I said, there have been days over the years. You guys who are longtime viewers, you know there have been days when I said, I just can't stream today or I can't do videos today. Sorry, guys. That's because I was depressed. Okay. Sure. Sure. And I couldn't actually... But remember, all you have to do to feel, to feel better about yourself is to just distract yourself from it. Oh, I just play video games and... And do things you like. I love streaming for you guys, dude. I love it. Oh, I can't stream today. I'm, I'm depressed. But I thought I thought if you do things you like, you could feel better about yourself. Oh, oh man. Already, I he, he I can't really follow his logic then, if that's the case, because literally when he when he tells people that oh this helps, uh you know deal with depressed with depression it doesn't really work for him. Okay. Shake it off enough. To come out and put on a oh. happy face and put on. Oh, he didn't shake it off enough. That's it. Because you know, depressed people can just shake off their depression. Oh, if you wake up and you're depressed, just do this. Oh, and it comes right off like that, right? 
That's how it works. Come on, dude. I'm an expert. Okay. Sound good? Painting videos or, or streams or whatever for you guys that day. Okay. Now, there's other ways as well. You can talk to people. Obviously, that's a big one. Sometimes talking about talk to people from the guy who doesn't talk to anyone okay. about the issues and getting them out there. And that's the other thing. That's the other thing. Depressed people barely like they have a hard time talking to people because sometimes they just they uh, they, they just have these like thoughts in their head and and all this stuff. I mean, it's it's very complex. Depressed people don't really have have the strength to talk to other people. And he's like, oh, just talk to people. Like it's like. Like that, okay. Make you feel better? Sometimes they won't. Because like I said, depression is not logical. It's not like, oh, this happened, this is bothering me. If I talk about it and get it off my chest, the pain or the sadness will go away. It's not true. That's not true. In many cases, you know, you can talk about it as much as you want. All right, this is the wrong mug. <laughs> that one's empty. Okay. So, you could, you know, talk about it till the, till the cows come home. It may not help anything. Or it might. Oh. Because it all depends. You know, one of the things about depression is you may feel like... Him giving help is, is just great. This this works, but some but it might not work. Okay. I mean, if, if you if you don't know, then maybe you, maybe you shouldn't say anything. I don't know. No one cares about you. And, you know, because of that, you're all alone. And sometimes when you actually talk out with someone who seems concerned, if, you know, even if it's just a psychiatrist who's getting paid to be concerned, sometimes just speaking with someone who's concerned can help you, okay? Now, again, that's not a universal. That's for some people, not everyone. Sometimes that actually does help me a lot, and sometimes it doesn't help at all. It makes things worse, especially if the reason maybe you're but, feeling you know, bad look is... At this. Like, what works then? Everything he's been saying is like, oh well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, I thought you were, I thought you were giving us advice on how to avoid it, but so far everything's like, oh, this, this, this works, but this doesn't always work. Sometimes this works. Okay. Something you can't help or you can't change, right? Then it might make things worse because now you're talking about it with someone else, and the other person's getting upset about it too. So you got, you know, it might not. It's not a universal. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, um, it just really sucks because. It could rear its ugly head. And when it rears its ugly head, it could have many different effects. Rear its ugly head. That's like a catchphrase for these antidepressant commercials. When depression rears its ugly head, take antidepressant and, and it will subside the effects. This and that. Why? I like how he gives us all, these advi all this advice. Why isn't, how come he doesn't say, go see a professional? Why isn't that a, why isn't that advice? You know, like it, it, it's a, it's safe advice too because you know no one's gonna <laughs> say that's bullshit. But no, no, you gotta make himself sound like he sounds like a pro. So you got he has to give us this advice. Seeing it, seeing a professional sounds a little bit more, sounds a little too generic, right? <laughs> sound good. One of the effects is like I said, it could make you feel sad to the point where, uh, just sadness. It could, you you only feel sad when you when you're depressed. Okay. You just shut down. You completely shut down. And that's like I said, some days that's happened to me. I just can't do any work today. I'm done. I'm just going to lay in bed and cry. It's so time. hot. That's happened to me. Okay. It hasn't happened recently, but it's happened. Um, Kat has seen me like that once ever. And even she was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my soul, my, my soulmate saw me cry, man. <laughs> You know, you know, uh, so, you know, you know, guys. Okay, guys, you know what? Sometimes, uh, <laughs> heck, uh, I go see Cleo, dude. And Cleo see me, see me, she saw me cry, dude. And then I took a, a cocktail medication. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, wow, dude. Uh, oh, someone says it's a disorder. Ah, <laughs> wow, wow, dude. Damn. Okay. Um, but there's other ways that it could uh, sadly negatively affect everything. Um, and one way, and this is a big one, and this is one that in particular, I, this is the first time I'm ever publicly discussing anything like oh, this. Oh, stress anyone, ball. Any of you guys that have ever been a viewer. Where's my stress ball? All right, and this is the God's honest truth. I'm not oh, making this up. Serious. This is not Shit. an excuse. 
It's not an excuse, but it's the depression, dude. But that, it's not an excuse. Or okay. a justification, okay? I take full responsibility for my actions. But one of the biggest problems with depression is self-destruction. And here's what I'm... Oh. Th this, this. This kind of kind of irked me a little. I mean by that, if you have true depression and you have these feelings of hatred of yourself, which I've had, there were points in my life where I, I hate myself. I don't want to be exist anymore. I hate who I am. I but he told us, no, what? fuck it. Fuck it. Let's, let's go to YouTube. Let's go to Mr. Health Stuff. Mr. Health Stuff got some vids. Shout out to Sky Sand or Shady Sands ninety eight who did a hundred bit cheer and says, "Have you ever considered suicide?" I'm not taking the piss. I'm just gutted about Chester Bennington. For those who don't know, he was the lead singer of Lincoln Park who just committed suicide. Um, I don't want anyone else I follow going anywhere. I know things are tough for you now, dude. I'm not considering suicide. What are you talking about? You know, I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm not considering suicide. What are you talking about? I'm not saying that. There haven't been times much earlier in my life where I, I fought depression because there were, and I've talked about this before in vlogs. I never went super in depth, but I did have to, I, you know, I suffered from depression um, years and years and years ago when I was much younger, before YouTube. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, when you have depression, it never goes away. Every once in a while, it might come back. But no, I'm not anywhere in a bad situation like that. It's kind of a ridiculous question. I'm pretty. It's a ridiculous question. To read this question, ask him if he has ever considered committing suicide. Hey, life comes around. Hey, I thought about suicide, dude. <sighs> pretty sure you would know. I would be pretty much down in the dumps. Um, for me to be like that, no, I'm not in any kind of a situation like that. You don't have to worry about that shit. Um, thank you to Shady Sands 89 who did a 100-bit cheer and says, Thank you for answering my question. I wasn't trying to be a cock. I didn't think you were. But you got to understand when you ask questions like that in public... A lot of people get freaked out. Like, oh my god, you mentioned suicide in public. It's like, oh, it's taboo, right? <clears throat> and let's face it. Suicide's taboo. Um, I've never really talked about that kind of shit. Um, because I'm not. I certainly would never be in a situation like that. I've, I am of the mind that even as bad as things get, right? I know that suicide would hurt so many people. Especially me being a public personality, too. That's the other thing. You okay. I mean, there, there's more to this as well. I mean, I mean, this is a four-minute video, but we don't need to be here for seven hours. I hate everything I've become. I, you know, and the truth is, I... I'm, I'm glad you agree with me, DSP. I, I do think you've become a terrible person. Which I've had. There were points in my life where I, I hate myself. I don't want to be exist anymore. I hate who I am. I hate everything I've become. I, you know... I, I... I think you've become a very, very shitty uh, streamer. Now, I, I don't agree with the death part. I mean, I just, I just think you're... You become a uh, Twitch whore. And the truth is, I don't feel that. I do feel that over the years, as a person, I've grown tremendously. Me now versus me when I started on YouTube, I'm a much better person, I, I feel, right now. I'm a much more moral person. You know what I mean? I've changed for the better. A moral person. His So his morality is that if you come to his chat and you bring up a dead relative, you could be lying. You could be lying about it. Because that, that, that's a very moral thing to say, right? You know, when war, the War Dog stuff that happened, War Dog comes in trying to, like, kind of, you know, give DSP, like, motivation. Because he's saying, like, look, you know, this happened in my life. It's, you know, it's, it, it was hard, but, you know, I was able to cook and this and that. And the first thing DSP just jumps to is he could be lying. He could be lying about his dead brother. Why would you jump to that conclusion? But he's a moral person. A moral person would not question the 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 validity of a dead relative. Uh, like really, really, and and if this claim is well, he trolled before, dude. If someone trolled the shit out of me and then and then brings up a dead relative, I'm not gonna jump to the conclusion that he's lying about it. Because that's a shitty thing to assume.
but he's a moral person. And he's also a moral person because he wanted to slap a kid in real life. He also did say that, so he's a very immoral person. Okay, DSP, you're very moral. I I totally believe that. I'll give you- I, I'm opening my wallet right now to give you a fucking $300 tip. Okay. But inside this feeling of you're a piece of garbage, you know, you don't deserve anything. You know, I, what you do know, you deserve? You treat your fans like shit. You act entitled to everything. What do you deserve? I think you deserve to work hard. I don't, I don't think you deserve to get free money. I don't think you deserve these whore boards. You don't deserve Twitch partnership. At, at most, he deserves an affiliate. He deserves being a Twitch affiliate. At most. At least, he deserves to have a computer. And have a roof over his head. At, at least. But, what do you deserve? Okay. Eating myself makes me do things that are inside this Wait, feeling of your piece of garbage. You know, you don't deserve anything. You know, I, you know, hating myself makes me do things that are stupid as fuck, that are incredibly self-destructing. All right. Okay. I want to ask you guys, what what do you think is self-destructive? What 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 do you think is is the most self-destructive thing to depress people do? Well. One is self-harm, two is taking a lot of drug substances, or dealing with it uh, irresponsibly by doing things that might lead to might lead to a negative outcome. Uh, you know, self-harm, that kind of stuff, right? Right? That that that's that's pretty much self self-destruction because you th those that stuff leads to damage. That can be irreversible. If you, if if it if it gets worse, you know, self destructive. You know, so you know. It is, let's let's see what what his what what he thinks what he he's gonna say. I mean, is he gonna be serious or is he gonna be? And this is the God's honest truth. More. Oh, here we go. Another idiot. Another idiot. Goodbye. Another. Pill. You're a liar. I like that delivery. You're a liar. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. You're a liar. <laughs> Actually, Popsicola took care of it before I even got to take care of it. Yeah, take that, Popsicola. Ho have fun streaming, dude. <laughs> okay. You may notice that every once in a while, I'll do something incredibly stupid and out of character. And you say, why the hell did Phil do that? Things were going good, and, you know, why would Phil do us something really stupid like that? Um... And by the way, as I'm talking about this, I'm actually crushing the fuck out of this stress ball because it's the first time I've ever actually publicly talked about this. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm squeezing the stress ball, dude. I'm freaking out. Dude, the story he's going to tell us literally, literally told us before. He, he, he explained this multiple times. He talked about it for a month. Oh, man. I'm very nervous. I'm squeezing the fuck out of his stress ball, dude. Oh, man. Okay. Um... Um, you know, I'll do something dumb and out of character for no reason. And, you know, to the logical person looking in from the outside who's a fan, why did Phil fucking do that, right? Why did Phil insult this person? Why did Phil do this? Why did Phil do that? And there's a lot to do. Stre That's it's self-destructive. So, so, going on Twitch tangents and shitting on people is self-destructive. On the internet. Now, now it's one thing to you know to go to a bar, you know, find a a strong guy there and talk shit to him to, to provoke a fight. That's one thing, you know. That is self destructive because you're 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 provoking a fight. But really, going on Twitter rampages and and the thing is on Twitter he doesn't even sound remorseful. He doesn't even sound at all. Genuine with his with his apologies. His apologies are, are always two faced. It's always like, oh well, since you guys, are, since everyone's getting drama on their feeds, look, I'll take the L. I'm an old man. Uh, that shit. Oh, with the uh, fucking reviews, I did not say everyone is this. You know what? I said things wrong. You guys took it this way. I'm sorry. Yeah, it sounds like you really, you know, self destructive. Really, really. You're gonna put that shit on on the same level 
of actual self-destructive tendencies? Okay, Dave. Okay, DSP. Okay. Okay. I'm sure your parents are proud of you now. Dress and emotion, but there's this self-destructive tendency for people who actually have depression. And I'll give you a perfect example. A perfect you example. To believe me or not, this is not an excuse, and I own what I did. It's a perfect example. But about a month ago, I made an incredibly stupid fucking tweet. The fucking tweet. Really? 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 You're gonna put that on the same caliber of people who actually harm themselves. Really? Really? Dude, he should be ashamed of himself for that. You're really gonna say that? Okay, yeah. Oh man, I said, uh, I said a lot of dumb things. Must be the depression. Self-destructive. <sighs> oh, oh my god, man. That, that, that is, that is kinda, kinda disgusting. You're really gonna put a tweet on the same level that you could just apologize for. And, and move on from it. If someone, you know, goes on a self destructive you know, bender, takes a lot of drugs, takes a lot of alcohol, can, can lead to fucking death. Or irreversible damage. They could get into a car while intoxicated, get into a car accident to the point where they're either dead or they're in a very bad state. And you're gonna compare that to a fucking tweet? Really? Okay, okay, I, okay. Publicly on Twitter, the tweet said that anyone who was playing State of Decay 2 early was a shill and getting paid to do so, and I would be playing the game later in the week, and I'm not getting paid, so my opinions will be valid. All right. Um and I literally have said that the tweet was not as bad as the fucking pre-streams that came after it, because that shit was even worse. But no, of course, of course. He did it because of the fucking depression. Oh, no, it's a perfect example. It's not an excuse. He owns it, but, it's the, but the depression made me fucking do it. Okay, okay, DSP. Okay, go, go fuck yourself. I know that's a false statement in my head. I know that's a really? false statement. 100%, I know that that tweet is factually incorrect. All right? The actual thought that I wanted to relay was that when people play games early... They're making extra money because they're the only people able to play the games. Therefore, they're basically making a paycheck. Per Regurgitates the opinion just in a longer way because he's he's li literally describing a fucking shill. Okay. Playing a game early. It's an elitist practice. I don't agree with it. I've always said early release copies are horseshit. You shouldn't have an elitist group of streamers and reviewers who get these games early. That everyone should have to buy the game on release date. And that way we can all get legitimate opinions of the game on release date. And also consumers should have self-control. They shouldn't be running out actively to buy every game on release date just to be part of the hype of the release. They should wait a day or two for other people to buy the game, give their honest reviews about it, then decide if they want to buy the game or not. That's my actual full informed opinion. About it's it's literally the same opinion, and he's really gonna use that. I mean, he could use a lot of better fucking examples. He could bring up the paw tweet. Oh, that was you know me. I don't know. I don't know. It's just you're really gonna bring up the state of the K two tweet and say that oh this is so like self infliction self destruction, dude. Okay. Okay, DSP. Sure. Okay. I, I'm sure if you, you know, I would, I, I want DSP to go up to a person who's actually depressed and tell them, and he, and for him to say this to their face, because I guarantee they're gonna like either walk out the door because they don't want because they are just like not worth my time, or DSP might have a, even a have a worse day. He might even feel very depressed, dude. <sighs> really, really, come on, come on about pre-release games now you can agree or disagree and that's perfectly fine but what i just said is far less inflammatory than you call them fucking elitist
Okay, yeah, yeah. Th this opinion is much better. And everyone playing a pre-release copy of State of Decay 2 is a fucking, you know, a shill. And, you know, I'm the only person who basically isn't doing it, so watch my stream on Friday, okay? Um, and I know that. I know that putting that... Doesn't sound like he owns the, the, uh, the tweet. Sounds like he's, put, he's pinning on depression, which, you know, okay. ...out on Twitter is going to cause trouble. I know that, logically, in this head. I know. That's stupid. You know? But, I did it anyway. It's out of character, but... He done, he's done this shit multiple times. He does- he did it all the time. It's- it's the point where it's basically DSP being DSP. He called Twitch streamers, like, whores. I mean, well... Well, I, I kind of I kind of know what he means by that, but it's but he literally makes it so general that it's like okay, anyone could be it. He shits on Twitch for doing the practice that he's picking up on. By the way, I mean, like okay, okay. And it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake that I put that on fucking Twitter. No, sir, it wasn't. That, that was mistake. my depression. My depression told me to make a tweet that's read so people can be angry at me. Because it's self-destruction, okay? Because this tweet that can be deleted, and I can apologize for it, and people can move on, is just like self-harm, okay? <sighs> really? What lasting fucking damage can that do? The, the lasting damage, okay, can be, oh, no one wants to do any partnership status with him or whatever, but that, that, he's, he had that from the get-go. No one wanted anything to do with the guy anyways. And it's and it's like like that's really what you're gonna use as lasting damage or whatever? Dude. Dude, he should be ashamed to even say this. How can you say this on a fucking stream and and and, and be genuine? This is this is a terrible example and it makes his depression seem even more in question than it is. Okay. I mean, really? Really? DSP, you're gonna put that on the same level? Okay. Okay. Pulling me out of a positive moment of my life. At that very moment. Alright? When that happened. Okay? I was on time off. I wasn't streaming. And I was actually spending time with Kat. And we were actually doing fun stuff. But! But! What happened was things weren't going as planned. Like, we had had plans of things that we wanted to do during those three days that I had off from streaming. And sadly, they didn't all work out. And it's personal reasons. I'm not going to explain what it was. But there was basically some negative stuff going on. That, like, here's something that we've been planning for, like, a month. You know, really looking forward to. Hoping for an amazing time together. And then, fuck me, something goes wrong. And now it's not... Really? So you had a bad day. And you decided to throw a temper tantrum. With, with this, every two-year-old ever is depressed. Two-year-olds are depressed now, guys. You'd be, you know the terrible twos? Oh, man, they're depressed. You know, you, the kid wanted to buy a, a, wanted a Wolverine toy. The parents said no. The kid's now depressed, dude. Okay. Okay. Not as amazing as we wanted it to be. In fact, it was way less amazing than we actually wanted it to be. So here I am. Waking up one morning while we're on our time off, feeling miserable because we're not having as good of a time as we really should have. And I'm having these terrible feelings again of maybe I don't deserve it. Maybe I don't deserve it. So he has been telling us that, oh, we're just glad to be together. We're happy together. Oh, man. You know, we don't have to do anything, but the fact that we get to spend time together is great. They wake up and he's telling us that, oh, our time off has been terrible because... We what? Okay. ...the time off. Maybe I don't deserve, um, you know what I mean? Maybe they don't, I don't deserve the, any success. Maybe I don't deserve the time off. Maybe I just deserve to be a slave for the rest of my life, to always be behind on finances and back taxes, and to have a horrible existence for the rest of my life. Maybe I just deserve it. And I'm feeling this depression in my head, and then someone tells me, Jill, G Phil, are you aware? I know that your big comeback from your time off is you're going to play State of Decay 2. Are you aware that there's like four people already playing out on Twitch and one of them has 18,000 viewers and already made like $4,000 in 10 minutes from Cheers? That could be, that could be, buddy. Subs and tips. 
And I hear to your subs and tips. I like how how they say the the uh, catchphrase that DSB has. To your subs and tips. But really, that that's a bad day, dumbass. Oh, okay, okay. Hear that? I see, here it is. I hear that, and you press now, okay? Oh, <laughs> do you just feel bad? You feel you you you're at a low because someone's making more money than you that you wish you could make. That's guess what that is, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what that is? It's jealousy. DSP feels jealous, and he says that's depression. Okay. Boom. Self-destruction. Let's do it. Go right to Twitter and make that... Oh, oh, that happened. Boom. Let's do the self-destruction. Fuck it. Dude, if you were feeling self-destruction... Destructive, you'd probably do more than make a mean fucking tweet, dumbass. I've said this before. How can you put a fucking tweet on the same level as something that can actually lead to irreversible damage? I, 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 oh, oh, man, okay. okay. That I know is wrong, it's not how I feel, let's do it. And that's exactly the kind of stuff that happens to me. And it's Let's not do just it. Me. Yeah, your depression, you know, hacks your body. You're, you're on your computer, and those are like, oh, shit, no, I don't want to type this, why am I typing? Oh, oh, man, I'm depressed, the depression's talking, dude. Okay. So, with that logic, <laughs> I guess we're all depressed. Depression is making me make this video, dude. You know, I was I came home and I'm like, up, oh, oh, gotta go to my computer. Gotta gotta sit down. Gotta make a video on DSP. I'm I'm self destruction. Okay. This kind of shit happens to a lot of people who have depression. Really, 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 a lot of people make mean tweets that they can delete and say, "I'm sorry," then move on positively. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's a nat a a a natural occurrence. Okay, okay, DSP. Yeah, they they all make a mean tweet, and everyone talks about it. And okay, yeah, I'm yeah. Compare the two. I'm I'm sure every everyone that's depressed is gonna agree with that comparison. You're in a moment of weakness, and your depression takes over. It actually takes over. It depression takes over. No, no, like, it's, it's more of that, that they feel a certain point where they can't take it anymore, and they try to find ways to get to, to talk, to deal with it, and most of these ways are not recommended to them, or it's irresponsible, or they do something that, that leads to a self-destructive tendency. It's not that the depression just hacks their body, and then possesses them, and then just, Forces them to do things that you don't want to do. They do things that are that might lead may, that might be in their in their in their bad in bad interest, but you know it's not that. Well, depression made me do it, dude. <laughs> and it's not, and it's a fucking tweet. You literally cannot compare the two. Like half the time of me, like I'm struggling through this because it's just the, the stupidity of of comparing a tweet. To self destruction is so mind numbingly dumb. It's like I I'm surprised I had to explain it. Really, I have to explain like re really DSP really. Okay. It makes you do shit that's out of character and out of character. But no one was surprising me that tweet. In fact, everyone that was a DSP fan was riding his dick over that tweet. Like, yeah, Phil, you're right. You know, you you're you are the most real motherfucker on the internet. Yeah, you tell him as it is, DSP. Yeah, this is why I like DSP. Blah 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 blah. His fans celebrated that tweet. The only people that gave him shit were people who who just fucking don't who who already don't like the guy. He's already a meme. So this is us preaching to the choir. No. Like, his fans celebrated the tweet. <laughs> no one, no one in his fan base, except for Venomous Fat Man, was like, this is out of character, but Venomous Fat Man's an idiot, because he has said this multiple times, and even after that tweet, and the correction of it, didn't change his fucking stance on it. Okay. ...want to do, and you know there's nothing good that's gonna come of it. 
yet you do it anyway. And then you look at it afterward and you go, what the fuck did I do that for? Oh, fuck. Here we go again, right? Yeah, that's what happens to a lot of people with, depre with depression. They wake up one morning and they look on their computer and they're like, wow, I made a mean tweet. Oh, damn it. It's the depression. He acts as if it's like a multiple personality disorder. It's it's like you have, you have like uh dumb uh you know asshole side Phil and and nice guy Phil and asshole side Phil just takes over ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, yeah yeah I'm sure people wake up every day that are depressed. Oh man, here we go again. The depression did it. Yeah okay. And this has happened to me. And again, if you talk like and I, and I have a feeling I have a hunch. Call me again if I'm wrong. Feel free to correct me on this. But a lot of people who are depressed don't blame their depression on, on how they act. It's more of like, you know, it's a, it's a lot of things that, go, that goes on. Again, it's not a very simple thing that he's making it out to be. It's not like, oh, I feel bad about myself. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to make everyone hate me now. Really? <sighs> Many times in my life. There was, I remember, there was one time, all right, when... Something really bad happened to me. And I had a friend who was being very nice to me and had previously had been real close to me or whatever. And I actually shut that friend off completely and never spoke to them again. Sounds like that he's, he's kind of hiding away from his, from his real emotions. I think someone's in the closet. And it had nothing... That friend did nothing wrong at all. Whatsoever. I mean, listen to oh, this. self destruct I mean, seriously, listen to how that sounds like, oh, I had a friend that was really close to me. And I, I don't know if it was in this video or in a pre-stream somewhere, but he said that, oh, the friendship would have blossomed to something else. I mean, it's it's really, really weird, you know? The only time I kind of hear that is when people are, like, kind of, you know, getting in touch with, with a certain you know, preference that, you know, they, they don't feel comfortable with. My body, my depression told me you don't deserve oh, to have that's that what friend anymore. And I stopped talking. I know this isn't anyone you guys know. Oh, it's John Rambo. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. But this was someone who I, for months, was a really good friend to me. You know, made of even blossom into something else. Blossomed into something else. Nope, the, the depression drove him away, dude. He said, no, no friends. You're dead. Then how did you get Rambo as a friend? How did you get them as friends? How did you get anyone else? If your depression drives you away from friendships, how did you, how did you get friendships? And then they asked the king, he said, oh, I can't make friends. I can't trust anyone. <sighs> okay. But it's the depression, dude. Come on. And I shut them completely off and never I deleted their fucking name and number from my phone. And I never spoke to them ever. Dude, it, dude, if you're depressed, you, you probably don't even have the, the the energy to do that. You're probably just gonna be like, because a lot of not a lot, but like depression also makes you feel like you know why bother half the time. I mean, it's not why bother just in general. It's not like oh, you know, I don't want to do this. Why bother? It's not that, but it's like you just you know get in like he. Uh, you know, I you know I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything because you know. I, it, 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 I I at DSP what I was gonna say. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get that level. I don't wanna sound like an asshole. But like, oh, it's really this, and they'd be wrong. You know? And by the way, this was back before even. I mean, it was a really long time ago. So it wasn't like oh, I would have texted him or whatever. I blocked them on instant messenger. Cause oh, all the kids. Oh, blocked them on instant messenger. But he just told us that he deleted the number from his phone. Now it's blocked from instant messenger. Oh, oh, okay. Just talked back then, or blocked her on instant messenger, and that her. was it. Wow, two things changed: the uh, the communication device and the gender. Really, really makes you think. Just gonna say this: he does talk. He does talk about penises and ramming penises and things. Never spoke to him again. And it was that was purposely because I wanted to hurt myself. You know? And really? Really?
Dude, hurting yourself is like cutting yourself, mixing drugs with alcohol, uh, you know, getting to a state of mind where you're intoxicated and getting to a car. I mean, all, all, well, there are people that just get drunk and drive as well. They're, that doesn't mean they're depressed either. So that's not the case either. But, you know, they, they get into, these, into like very harmful situations. Not talking to friends, uh, I mean, I, kinda in a way, because a lot of times these a lot of depressed people don't talk to people uh, about how they're feeling, but it's just, it, it, this just doesn't sound like it is. It, the problem is, with people who have extreme depression, that's when you get to the point, it's not just mental, it becomes physical. And that's when you get people who do physical things to themselves, physical harm and stuff, okay? And, you know, sometimes it gets to the point where it hounds you and it actually haunts you so badly you just can't put up with it anymore. No, It's like, no matter what I do, no matter how much I fight and I strive, you know what I mean? It actually Yo, haunts what you say? so badly you just can't put up with it anymore. You said that the celebrity would take themselves... Oh, okay. More. No, it's like, no matter what I do... That was, that was something No else. matter how much I fight and I strive, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be. A, I'm always gonna feel awful in the back of my head. I could end up being the most successful person on planet Earth, and my brain will never allow me to feel good about myself. And but you literally tell us every day, "Oh, I'm successful. Everyone's jealous of me. I'm. I'm doing amazing. I'm able to own to uh, pay off this house. Man, everyone's just jealous of me. Now it's well, well, to mad." And I think that honestly is a lot of the people who end up going to that extreme. That's what it is. They see, they see no way out. It's the endless trap of no matter how much I succeed, no matter how well I do, I will always feel like shit. And that's their way out is the ultimate step of hurting themselves, you know, losing their own life. How much I succeed, no matter how well I do, I will always feel like shit. And that's their way out is the ultimate step of hurting themselves you know, losing their own lives. And that's terrible, you know. And I'll be real with you guys. There was one point in my life where I felt like that. But he just said he didn't feel like that. In the video I, we just listened to, he said he never thought that. Because he knows that it, there's a lot of positivity in his life, dude. But now I know he tells us that he felt that way. Okay. Thumbs up to you, Dave. And it was a long time ago. DSP. It was a long time ago. And it was a point in my life when I was single. It was before YouTube, by the way. And I was single. And I didn't like what I did for a living for my job. I was in a ton of financial debt. Like I am now. Only back then, it wasn't like I made a lot of money. So I didn't even see a way out of it. Okay. Um, my parents, d at that point in my life, weren't really involved with the stuff that I was doing. and didn't. Honestly, I felt they didn't really care about me. Because they weren't involved or okay. interested in me or my welfare, what I was doing with my life. Um, and really, I didn't have anywhere to fall back on. There was a lot of negativity in my life at that time for personal reasons. And so I was at a point in my life where I didn't want to go on. I was like, I, I could care less if I live or die today or tomorrow or whatever. If I if tomorrow I were to walk into the middle of the street and a car splattered me all over the fucking place. I, I mean, it, but the thing is that even aside from the view we listened to... There are many videos, many videos, that if you really want to like search, you can search for them. He told us that that uh, he was living it up when he was a kid. He didn't listen to his parents. Oh man, when I reached this age, I did did my own thing. I hanged out with all my friends. We did this and that. And if you even look at all the videos, he it was like happy all the time. I mean, of course, it's you know, it's also like you know, lo you know, a lot of press people don't show it. But I mean, come, come on. This just doesn't line up at all with what he was doing because it's just like, I mean, come on. He tweets, is self-harm now? Really? That? He, gave, he changed the gender and the communication device of that one person. He says that depression takes over, depression hijacks your body. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. You know, and that was tits. Oh, and you gotta distract yourself too. Like these, like his advice doesn't make sense either. Depression is a, is a very dominant like thing, and you're gonna say, "Oh, we'll just find distractions, play video games." With have the when everything he said doesn't work for him, he never looks positively. Never, he never does.
uh, you know, it's just, it, it's so fake. It's so fake. And that's the takeaway on this. It, it's a fake fucking attitude he has. Because the truth of the matter is when you have those feelings, all right, you, I mean, and this is logically how I basically kind of convinced myself out of that mindset is even though you may feel awful about yourself and even though you may not and want again, to Again, it's only just sadness. That's all he's talking about. Depression isn't just sadness. How, do, how does he not know this? If you have depression, you would probably know the emotions you feel are more than just fucking sadness. But here's the, oh, it's sad. I feel bad. I feel, I feel like down about myself, dude. That's not fucking depression. I mean, sure, depressed people might also feel those feelings too, but it's not just those feelings. But okay, okay, Dave. Why there are other people out there okay. who know you, who depend on you, who love you, and those are the people who really you need to surround yourself with in time with in times when you feel that badly. Um, you know, just imagine, you know, being gone for good. And what a hole that leaves for people who love you and people who, you know, what did they, what did those people do ever, all right, to you to deserve to have you ripped out of this for people who feel that badly? Um, you know, just imagine, you know, being gone for good and what a hole that leaves for people who love you and people who, you know, what did they, what did those people do ever, all right? to you to deserve to have you ripped out of their lives. Now, I know that sounds incredibly selfish because you're the one hurting, right? Right? But it's true that how selfish is it for you to take your, take your own life, right? And then have, leave this gaping hole where you used to be, especially, again, if you're someone who people love you and depend on you or just, you know, uh, uh, your parents in particular, although- But again, suicide, suicide is not that simple either. It's more than just, well, well, you know, everyone would be happy to help me. Suicide's more than just fucking that, dumbass. Like, like, no shit's gonna leave a hole in the family. Of course, you know, family's gonna be like, well, uh, you know, they're gonna be sad about it. But people who, who kill themselves aren't just doing it because they feel bad about themselves or they feel sad about everyone else. It, it's a lot. It's completely different than just that. But of course, DSP just goes with the most generic fucking response because he doesn't understand what he's talking about. He just knows a little, he just knows the surface area of it. He just knows the, the shallowness of it. And it's going off from there. He's talking out of his own fucking ass. G G. So I know a lot of people don't have good relationships with their parents uh, or friends or loved Oh, no shit. People don't have perfect relationships with their family. Wow, who would have thought that, right? I mean, clearly everyone has a perfect relationship with their family. Okay. Loved ones. Right? Says the guy that, like, shat on his aunt for uh, giving him gout. Yeah. And I really want to listen to him. I really want to listen to the guy who, who really blamed his aunt for passing on gout to him. Okay. Right? You know. He also said he didn't feel sorry. He didn't feel any sadness about her passing either. Okay. Oh. And oh, the odd thing, I didn't feel, didn't feel too, didn't feel anything about that one. Uh, she gave me fucking gout, dumb bitch. Okay, the DSP. I, you're absolutely right. It's not about the other people. Someone just said that. It's not about the other people. It's not. But that's at least for me. It's not about the other people. But he just told us it is about the other people. Oh, you're right. It's not about the other people. That was one of the ways that I helped to get myself out of the hole I was in. Really? Really? Dude. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I've heard that it's not that simple either. Like, that, that doesn't really work either. But okay. I mean, that, that magically helped him. Was that maybe, you know, it's not just about me. That's the thing. It's not just about you. It's not just about them. It's about everything working together, you know? And so, for what? that's the other thing, too. People will... What a fucking non-answer. <laughs> well, it's not about me. It's not about them. It's about everything. It's about us coming together. It's such a, like, a round... It's, like, such a non-answer. Because when people are depressed and they're looking for reasons to not do something, they might want 
a, a better answer than than that. Because then it's like, well, yeah, but, you know, I, I'm just talking about my, my own feelings. I mean, yeah, I know that, that that it would harm them, and, you know, I might want, I might feel that way differently, you know, if I put more thought into it, but right now it just doesn't feel that way. What are you going to say? Well, you got to trust me, okay? It's all about synergy, dude. I mean, they come on. It's not that fucking, fucking easy to, to, to uh, get out of. I mean, it, it's... It's really, really fucking hard. The, but, but of course, he want, he's going on surface level because he doesn't know what the fuck he's Blame talking people. about. Uh, so I heard that someone was depressed and committed suicide. What an awful person to do such a selfish thing. <sighs> oh my god. Like, But he did say it was selfish, though. And he told us that all, multiple times before. But okay. Why in, on, on this planet do we have to always play the blame game? I, this is actually something... Un Why do we have to play the blame game? Oh, but it's... but. It's the medication's fault. Oh, Leanna left, so I can't make meals for myself. It's the detractor's fault. It's YouTube's fault. It's Twitch's fault. It's your fault. It's this that he blames everything. He he is like the pro champion of blame games. Oh, it's it's the game's fault that I lost. It's the game speed's fault that I lost. Oh, it's this fault. It's the lag. It's this. It's that. And he's gonna tell us, well, why do you play the blame game? I don't understand, dude. Okay. Unrelated, but why do we have to do this? When something goes wrong, there's always gotta be a finger to point and someone who has to be responsible afterward. Did you fucking watch your fucking YouTube stream? You did nothing but blame YouTube for everything. You blame YouTube for everything. He blames YouTube for deleting thousands of videos from his channel, which he did on his own. He blames you. He blamed YouTube. I mean, technically, it was YouTube's fault that his channel got suspended or got removed or whatever. Technically, but even then, he blames YouTube all the time, he, and and then he he demands for them to take responsibility. But here's like, oh, well, so he goes right. Why do you demand responsibility, dude? Okay. Maybe things are just fucked up sometimes. You ever think of that? Maybe things though. This isn't a land of lollipops and fucking rainbows. Yeah, DSP. Maybe you should take your own advice. You know what I mean? And you know this is I mean? a serious world where things get messed up. And sometimes you things just Things get messed up, but dude, how come... Oh my god, dude. Do you listen to yourself? ...to deal with the repercussions and say, how do we get past the blame game? And say, can we just fucking get past that and fix the find a way to make make the problem fix? Oh, that's, that's the thing. See, see, YouTube doesn't try to fix the problem. So that's why DSP is stuck on the blame game. Do you, you, if YouTube uh, fixed the situation, then he could progress th through the blame game and end the game. Ah, but see, they never fixed the problem. So the blame game continues. Ah, see, I, I, I figured you out, DSP. I, I get it. I, I get your game. Good, good advice. Never leave the blame game until the problem is fixed. That's what he's telling us. Okay, okay. That, see, that's why he blames you, uh, YouTube a lot. That's why he blames Capcom a lot. See, they're not trying to fix the problem, so we so we're stuck in the blame game. We're stuck there. We can't get past it because they're not fixing the problem. Ah, okay. I I I get it. That that doesn't sound immature at all. Instead of we have to find the 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 perpetrator or the person behind. It's not your fault if you feel depression, and it's certainly not your family member's fault or your loved one's fault if you feel depression, right? It's no one's fault. But like if depression, but if he said it's hormones and it's wires crossed, but but think about this though, dude. I mean, this might be a little, little, you know, out there, but you could also blame your family for how you're born because it's genetics. Because it's kind of like how DSP blames his on for getting gout. Gout is hereditary. You do get it genetically. It it is passed down through uh through bloodlines. So. And DZ blamed his aunt for getting gout, so, you know, there you go. It goes, it goes full circle, dude. Oh, fuck that. Instead, fuck that. let's try to make people feel better so that they don't get to that fucking extreme. And you Is that why you didn't feel any sadness about your aunt dying? Is that why you blamed her for... And you acted very snide and, like, shitty about your aunt because she gave you gout? Is that why? Hmm, okay. You know what? Again, if it does happen... And you see someone who's really negatively affected. It's not your fault. You could be the best friend, the best, you know, significant other, 
the best, you know, uh, re- relative to someone, and they could still feel awful about themselves, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. And you kind of, at one point, just have to say there's no one's fault. You're, all yeah, you can- should be like DSP. He's such a great relative. Oh, my parents are stupid for not buying me the Wolverine toy. Oh, Dad, you came home from you came over from a flight, and you're probably feeling jet lag. Fix my toilet, okay? I'm not taking you to your, your hotel until you fix my toilet, dude. Okay? <laughs> uh, oh, my aunt gave me gout. Thanks, aunt. Wow. Okay. You do is be there for them. And yeah, try to help because them. these be such a role model for being a good relative. Them as much as you possibly can, and try to be as good. A- he also had also like threw his other family members under the bus as well. I, I'm pretty sure there's like a a Christmas video somewhere where he's like, Ugh, my family always argues and they don't get along. I mean, I don't understand it, dude. I mean, Ugh, why are they so immature? Of a friend, relative, significant other, whatever you can be, and not let it get to you if you can't reach out. But and- oh, what if your family's shitty though? What if you have a bad family? Okay. Break through and help that person because like, like you know, he he's, he has no perspective though. What if you're in a family that is not a loving family, you know? Or what if you what if you're adopted? You know, a lot of a lot of kids who are adopted, not a lot, but like you know, a lot of questions come up saying like you know, oh, why did my parents leave? It okay. No, me- yeah, these mental disorders are fucked up. And, oh, it's a know. disorder, but I thought you said disease, disease, dude. Oh man, those negative dances, am I right? Oh, it, it, some people say I'll just go on pills. That's not the solution either. Pills help. Don't get me don't get me wrong. You you know, pills absolutely help, but they don't cure these kind of issues. They just help. But neither does your fucking advice. He says like, oh well, you know, this is this stuff will help help your depression. Some people say medication helps, but they don't cure them. Okay, medications don't cure them. It helps. No shit. <laughs> To help okay. to mitigate and help to keep it under wraps. You know, like I said, like sometimes it's the guy in the shoulder, like I mentioned. So maybe that guy in the shoulder goes away for a couple days. But he's going to come back, but at least he's gone for a couple days, right? So that's what I mean. Take a sip, chew the water, so, kiss the mic. It's a very complex issue. It is. The best takeaways I can give you when it comes to this is, number one, don't play the blame game. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. Number two... But you blame everything. You blamed everything. It's the meds. It's the depression. I got depression from the meds. <laughs> okay. You know someone... If- oh, I had a bad day with Cat. That's why I made the tweet, dude. The bad day with Cat made me depressed and made me made that, make that tweet. Oh, someone told me about the whole thing with the uh, with State of Decay 2, dude. No, not the blame game at all. No, 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 no. Affected by an issue like depression... Don't ever tell them it's their fault. Don't try to tell them it's something else. That's fucked up. The most fucked up thing you could possibly do. And only immature, really fucked up people would yeah, do. Yeah, if you tell me that I'm not depressed and you tell me it's something else, you're immature. You're making me feel worse. So remember that, dude. So basically, if someone who doesn't feel depressed thinks that they're depressed, I mean, it's, it's not right to correct them. But then they're going to be, like, that's a bad mentality. The best mentality is to, if you think you have it, go go get prof- a professional help then. Get someone to diagnose you. Don't go to WebMD for diagnostics. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to go to, to fucking Google to, to fucking tell you what you have. Oh, man, I have a cough. What does this mean, Google? Oh, I, I have a, I have a, uh. Smallpox, dude, because I coughed. That must be it. Okay. Don't don't, don't go to the doctor. Just, 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 but if you feel down, if you feel sad, you must have it. Great guy, D- DSP. Yeah, and you should be lucky in your life that you don't feel that to know what it's really like, that you can now be on the outs- an outsider, you know, saying to them, ha-ha, you know, it's not what you say, it's just because you're weak or whatever, or, you know, you're just diagnosing... You, know, you, you could misdiagnose yourself, dumbass. It's very possible. That's why the best advice is to go seek professional help. Because it's very possible. You, Because like that's why there, there's a, a misconception of depression in the first place. 
people self-diagnose that? That's the biggest issue with fucking with the internet as far as health goes. As far as health is concerned, why do you think people milk people for fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a fucking it's nonsense. It, it, it's nothing. You you know what the medication they give you for fibromyalgia? I'll tell you. Sugar pills. Why do you think fibromyalgia is, is such an existing condition? Because it's a fucking racket. Because it's very possible idiots go think that they have something when they don't. That's why it's best to get professional help. Then go, then go to Google.com, type in something like, "Oh man, what do I have?" Oh, I have this because Google because what I have right now perfectly aligns with the internet. You could very easily misdiagnose yourself. Don't be DSP. Don't be a dumbass. Look, okay, look. If you feel like you might be depressed, do yourself a favor. Get a get professional. Get get help. Find someone to to talk to. Uh, that's a psychiatrist, or or get someone that that is a professional in the matter to help you out on it. Don't just listen to DSP. Don't listen to me. Just just find find someone that is more helpful and 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 credible going to google isn't going to help going to dsp isn't going to help find so, like maybe maybe also talk to someone who has depression if you know someone who has it you maybe talk to them about it i don't know but go to so, go to credible places before you start self diagnosing yourself because you could fucking sound like a fucking idiot i mean come on Happy that you don't have to be in that situation because you know how horrible you're making that person feel. All right. Number three. Yeah, you know, if I think I have something that I don't, and then someone tells me tells me I don't, I I'd, I'd feel bad too because I'd probably feel like a fucking idiot. Three. If you are an outsider to the situation, you're trying to help someone. You can do whatever you can, but understand you may not be able because it's not something that can definitively be fixed. At least from my experience. Uh, it's always going to be there. And, no shit. You know, it's tough. It really is tough. Because, you know, self-destructiveness really sucks. And it could... Uh, I know self-destructiveness. I'm going to be tweet, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he knows a lot about it. Because he made a mean tweet that he was able to apologize and delete. And move on. He knows about self destruct He knows all about it. Okay, I mean, I, I, I'd probably listen to Cleo before I listen to DSP about it, because I'll tell you a little story about, about Cleo. This is, this is something that she did a few years ago. This was uh, around the time she had her a bun mate. Uh, she, had, she started pulling her own fur out of her, you know, off of her. She started pulling her own fur out to make a nest, pretty much, because she thought she was pregnant. You know that that's kind of self-inflicting because you know she's pulling fur out of off off of her. She has, she was literally bald and like on her side. I I I I probably believe Cleo knows more about self destruction, self harm, and all this stuff more than DSP knows. I mean, again, he's he's measuring it on off of a fucking tweet. Okay. You could hurt yourself. You could hurt others. You know. And I know personally, because I've hurt myself and I have hurt others, definitively How? by my actions. And I get Who did you hurt? Because you did, You said in the same Hate Live podcast that the detractors made John Rambo and Howard uh, unfriend you. The trolls made Leanna dump you. Uh, you know, you, you blamed everything on the trolls. What harm did you do then? If that's the case, then you shouldn't really be pointing, play, playing the blame game. On the detractors. Oh, but, but uh, no, dude, it, it's different. He can't tell him that because he's gonna feel he's gonna feel down, dude. Snort. Again, I take responsibility. It was me. I take responsibility, but it's the detractors that ruined my life. Okay, you know what? You know what, dudes? We should reread some of your tweet longers. You, you'd probably be enlightened on some on on how you talk. Does the fucked up stuff. 
So it's I'm the one responsible, but it's fueled by this destructive nature in the back of my head telling me to fuck everything up for myself, you know? Um, it sucks. Oh, so so uh, he was self-destructive when he jerked off on stream. He was self-destructive when he took people's Project 7 money. Oh, oh it makes so much sense, dude. It absolutely sucks. And there's no solution. This isn't, sadly, this isn't a discussion that I can say, guess what, guys? I got the miracle cure, and here it is, and now everything's hunky-dory. There's not, you know? I've toughed through Look at it my this. whole life. This is, like, the really... most, like, basic fucking thing you can tell people. Oh, there's no cure, dude. I mean, everyone knows. I mean, this is, like, the most surface-level, shallow fucking advice you could give people. It's nothing. What, what do you gain from this discussion? Like, like that, and that's the, that's the key thing. When he was done with his podcast, it's like, what did I learn in this podcast, in this portion? Absolutely nothing that I could have learned from Google. This is nothing. It's just him just talking, talking out of his fucking ass. And he acts as if, oh, he's doing us a service, dude. Okay. You guys, the shit that I've been through over the years, when I got people who say such nasty shit about me constantly, it's all false, even though it might be based on a snippet of truth. When you got people out there who think that you're a pedophile, you're a... Oh, a snippet of truth, that he's a pedophile. I've said this before. Maybe you don't want to keep bringing pedophile up. You might not want to bring that up because, you know, it's it's going to look a certain way, but... Okay. A scam artist, a constant, you know, disgusting beggar. And then what are, your, what are your plug segments? Why do you have horror boards up? Why do you have your Teespring up? Why do you have your Patreon up? I mean, Cleo's blocking it to save you guys from it, but why do you have everything? Why do you have a Twitch link on your Twitch video? Oh, he's not a beggar, dude. No, but I really need the money. I really do. I have I have taxes, dude. Oh, I have something I, I might need a lot of money. The $300 tip really helps. Not a beggar. No, 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 no. Okay. And all this shit. On top of the fact that I had this before that, it doesn't make stuff easy. You know? it, doesn't, it doesn't make it easy. <laughs> Man, it's so funny. I have I have something that is like really challenging and is making me feel bad and 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 you know leads to harm, and it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hear that again. It, it's such a good joke. Disgusting beggar and all this shit. On top of the fact that I had this before that, it doesn't make stuff easy. <laughs> People call me a beggar. <laughs> call me a pedophile. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh man, DSV, you, what a riot, dude. Oh man, it's so funny. You know, and the fact that every day when I, I wake up, it seems like I get past this hurdle, the next hurdle. I got past the taxes, here comes the next fucking thing, right? And <laughs> Hurdles, man, am I right? So hard, so tough, dude. <laughs> It's like it's like this. My it's been like this my whole life. I can't just get. Funny how how everything ties into money, money and selfish desires. Hmm. Point where I could just be like, can I maybe that maybe if I never had that constant shit going on. Maybe I, I don't have to, if I don't have to worry about money, I wouldn't have to feel depressed. Doesn't sound like you have depression, dude. Because again. Again, he ties it to money. But these people, who, like these these famous actors and famous people who are successful, commit suicide, and they and and the and he says, "Oh well, they don't have financial uh, issues, and they end up killing themselves." Here, well, I have all those financial responsibilities and this and that. Maybe if I don't have to worry about that, I won't have to be depressed. I'd be able to kind of like relax a bit. I really feel like I've almost never relaxed in my life, maybe a couple times. And it's because of this. You always tell us that you would get to relax on your day off. But now you can't, okay. Always being there. You know what I mean? Um. So, at least, you know, 
I'm certainly not a guru. I'm not an authority. All I am is a person. Uh, oh, I'm here we go. I'm a person. Okay, I may not be right, but I'm just a person. That's offense. I mean, again, it, it, fine, but it doesn't really help when you claim to have depression, though. Just saying. That experience. And I mean, again, I don't have depression. I'm not an expert on the matter, so I can't tell you that that I'm a Mr. Know-it-all of it. I can tell you that I don't think, I, I can tell, only tell you what I think. Doesn't mean that I that you know what I'm saying is definitive. I can only tell you what I think. I don't think he has it because everything he told us in the past doesn't line up with it. The way he talks about it doesn't line up with it because the if I'm able to know a little bit more than him, kind of tells you something. Because the fact that I know that it's more than just sadness that people feel that are depressed kind of tells you that maybe DSP doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Okay. And I at least hope that by relaying what I've just told you guys. That it will at least help someone. And again, um, if he took it seriously, he wouldn't have cried about people calling it a disorder like he did before. Again, you know, it's like, I take I take being Greek seriously. And then someone tells me, well, you know, Greeks actually do this. I'm going to be like, oh, oh, ah, uh, Greeks do this, uh, okay, ah, uh, okay, Greeks do this. You know, that's like, what the fuck? I mean, if you're gonna take it, if you're gonna take being Greek seriously, at least, you know, be open to the fact that you might be wrong about it. He wants to take depression seriously, he gets fucking anno annoyed when people correct him that it's a disorder, and bel and, bel and uh, belittles them. But he wants us to take it seriously and be kind to him about it. Okay, yeah, I'm sure DSP is, is genuine about it. Um, mm -hmm. out there, who may be suffering from what I've had my whole life, and maybe it'll give you some positive advice. Uh, positive on, advice. Based on what I've told you. And if, just so you know, you are not alone. You're not you alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. You know? And I'm starting to tear up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to cry, dude. <laughs> dude. Like, so many people out there feel alone. That's how I felt when I was at the bottom. And I wanted it all to go away. I felt that it was my fault and I was alone. But I thought all the ladies wanted you. He told us he was Mr. Popular. And no one loved me. No one and loved me, dude. that's the worst thing because it's not it's the furthest from the fucking truth. But there's people out there who feel like this. I mean, I can't imagine people, like I said, high-profile celebrities who are at the top and they're rich and they have all the support and they can't shake the fucking feeling, right? And then, you know, it's awful. It's and awful, I dude. really empathize because I, I'm there It's awful. I made, a, I made a mean tweet and people like this uh, gave me shit for it. It's dumb. I was depressed, dude. The depression made me say dumb things. I don't think depre depressed people use their depression as an excuse like that. Just saying, you know. With uh... you, you know. It's not something that it's easy to talk about. It's some, some people are It's not easy to talk about. He only talked about it for an hour. Not easy to talk about. Let me just talk about it. Talk about this kind of stuff publicly because they think I'm a weak person because I have it. That's not. Oh, I don't think you're a weak person. I just think you're an idiot. Not the truth either. Um, and if anything, like I said, I hope that this segment helps people. I'm getting hungry now. Maybe Dude. are alone and feel like they are. You're not. All right. And know that there's always people. Out yeah. There yeah. You have DSP with you. If you're depressed, don't worry. You have DSP with you. Because you want that, right? You want you want this guy to be to be with you when you're feeling depressed. He focuses on negativity. Why? Like I've said this before. Like in the asking game, like you know, or uh, you know, he did that one vlog in like last year where he's talking about like how he has a mystery tax situation. Well, not tax. He didn't tell us it was taxes back then. But like you know, it's like okay, you already feel bad for DSP, and and you and you might be feeling depressed. Do you really want to hear his depress? I don't know. Whatever about you. And you will leave a gap if you were ever to leave this earth. Uh, you know, people will miss you. And even if you don't... You could tell that to, to people who are depressed, but if but the fact that they think about suicide, the fact that they think about it... I mean, come on. I see it every day, and even if you're treated like shit every fucking day, right? There's a reason for you to exist, okay? All right, guys, um, even if you don't That's see it work. every day and even if you're treated like shit every fucking day, right, there's a reason for you to exist, okay?
He looks like he's smirking about it, like... Alright, guys. Um... I guess I'm gonna try... That, like, was he, that doesn't even look like a smile. It's like... It looked like he tried. He had to, like, try. Like, you exist. You need to give him money for him to be happy, TBH. I mean, that's probably why he had to force a smile, dude. Try for some shout-outs, although I did see some people were being incredibly disrespectful, which I knew was going to happen. Yeah, very disrespectful. They should be more like you, DSP. When someone tells you it's a disorder, you should pro you should go in a nasally voice, make a face, and be like, eh, it's a disorder, you negative dancies. You should do that. That's, that's much more respectful, right? Yeah, yeah, man. They, they should be more like you because you're so respectful. What can you do about it, right? What can you Let's do? See what people had to say about this, and then we'll I mean, the show. people should be more like me and make measly voices. And okay. Um. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh. Let's see. Neo Perpetual T Man ninety four cheered, and he said, "Thanks, Will, for talking about this. There's such ignorance about the topic." I have a lot of friends who have depression and anxiety, and I have issues in the past with this, but I overcame them. Some still struggle, and they didn't, they're didn't. they not able to overcome it. And that's true. You know, some people, that you, you can find a way out of it. You know, At least me, I found a way to mitigate it, to deal with it when it happens. But I still do stupid shit. Still he says this, but in the uh, that vlog I talked about earlier, the, um, the mystery text vlog, he did say the... Well, I get out of my depression. I, 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 and then he doubled down and like, oh, no, no, actually, I, I sometimes deal, deal with it. Uh, but, but of course, he's gonna blame all dumb tweets to depression. It's like the same dumb shit he says. Oh, if I've been asked a lot of because I, I owe a lot of money, I, I'm stressed, dude. Be, be patient with me, okay? Okay. Still, I still do stupid, destructive stuff. Um, and you know, again, you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel bad and you shouldn't blame yourself and you shouldn't have this, ne this ball of negativity because of it either. Um, anyway, thank you, Anonosaurus Rex. He did a cheer. Jack Spartacus tipped me $3. Thank you, Jack. Black Mage C-Type cheered. And he Dang, said, your depression sounds like your detractors. How ironic is that? Seriously, people are so negative and thank you, Anonosaurus Rex. He did a cheer. Jack Spartacus tipped me $3. Thank you, Jack. Black Mage C-Type cheered, and he said, Your depression sounds like your detractors. How ironic is that? Seriously, people are so negative and toxic and horribly persistent. All they ever do is ride around on your back trying to put you down. That's depressing in and itself, but also quite inspiring, seeing as you continue to do what you do in spite of struggling with depression and essentially getting a double dose of it from a legion of folks who each are the living personification of depression. Very, very motivational, dude. I mean, technically, technically he is right, however... He doesn't have depression. It, like, because, like, again, if someone, if he was genuinely depressed, I, I mean, he'd probably be in a worse position than he is, that, you know, mentally, just, just saying. He probably wouldn't be able to get cat to get in the house. He probably would be making a lot of jokes. Uh, you know this and that. I mean, I, I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of things that that make me scratch my head. Pretty good observation. Pretty good observation, dude. Um, Neo Perpetual Team Man cheered again. He said maybe part of the reason so many people actually try to hurt me is because they're feeling the same way about themselves. They see me being the successful guy, maybe, and they feel bad about themselves. So then they have to attack the guy. Maybe. So with that logic, with. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even going to say anything with that. Now, oh, okay, bulletproof. Because he says, he says, no, fuck it. He says that. Oh, maybe they're depressed. He calls us mentally ill. Uh, shits on us all the time. But, uh, but, but maybe we're depressed. I and mean, you got to be kind to people who are depressed. But not, not the detractors. Fuck them. Piece of shit. Okay. Thumbs up to you, DSP. The 100 bit cheer. He says, You know, I find it sad that celebrities would take themselves from their kids. They have to live with that forever. You know what? You're right. That is very sad. It's a horrible situation because, trust me, when I say this, when someone feels that bad, okay, um, okay. they're not doing it to hurt others. If you are, they're to the point, I'm going to hurt myself physically. They're not doing it because they want to hurt others, but 
They're, but he, but he kind of said that oh, whatever. So much in turmoil and pain in their own head, they feel like the only way they can make it stop is to just end it completely. Okay, no amount of no amount of talking, no amount of of drugs, nothing is going to solve that oh. besides ending it all. So it's either sadness or pain. Because because that's clearly what depression is: sadness and pain. Nothing else. No, of course not. DSP knows what he's talking about. And so to them, you know, yeah. And they, they may even know, man, you know, my kids are going to be affected by this and everything. But to them, there's nothing else they can do. They feel like that's their one desperate escape. And that's awful, you know. It is. It's the absolute bottom. I've been there. I've been to the absolute... I feel that's probably the worst you can feel. Outside of being physically beaten to death and being tortured, that's probably mentally the worst state you can be in to the point where that's it. I gotta end it, right? Um, and there's nothing logical about it. When you get to that point, there's no logical thought behind anything anymore. It's just feeling. It's pure emotion. I need to end the pain. Uh, Anonymous Horse cheered again. He said, I hope the best for you, man. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. Look at how, like, how he struggled to answer that. And he just went back to what he said before. Oh, they just want to end the pain. Okay. Bananasaurus. Brown is back cheered. He said, thank you for talking about this, Phil. Uh, as someone who has you done stupid things in the chat, I hope I can be a positive member <laughs> of the community. Brown. Uh, Aust Mink cheered. He says, the devil is the angel on... The devil versus the angel on your shoulder. Yeah, the problem is I don't have an angel. Hey, you know what's funny? The devil and the angel has nothing to do with that because... What those signify, like, is your id and your super ego. Because one's like, you know, oh, do this negative thing, you know, oh, yeah, fucking, you know, it's so cool, F yeah, hell yeah, fuck yeah, rock on, you know, fuck this, we want, we want to get the money, dude, do this, right? And then the, id, then the, the uh, super ego's like, hey, hey, that's wrong, you know, let's fucking chill. That has nothing to do with depression because it's your selfish desires, it's your greediness, your... It's it's more to do with your personality and your fucking morality, your ethics, your uh, I mean, and your self esteem in 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 ways. It doesn't really have much to do with your depression, because the devil gives into your lust, your sins, your you know the uh. And all that the devil isn't there to be like yeah fuck you. It's more like okay yeah yeah you know oh look you know that 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 old lady dropped a hundred dollar bill. Let's keep it. Yeah, yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, you can take the hundred bill. It's more about that than, you know, oh, oh, yeah, fuck you, you know? That's that's what it is. It's uh, So they both bought, the Cheer and DSP both botched the, uh, the, uh, the whole thing with the devil and the angel. I don't get an angel over here. I get the, just the devil right here. I get the devil. An onosaurus cheer. <laughs> I get the devil, dude. <laughs> oh, man, funny. He said, um, mad respect, man. It's sick that people want to tear you down, but you persevered. Thank you. Zach, oh. Yeah, we want to tear him down. Not not like he chat on people, right? Zero, five, six, did a cheer. He says, always good to talk about I like how, the, how his chat is like, ugh, TSP. Oh, man. You're, you're, it's so tough, man. You're, just so, you're battling through so much. Warrior Die comes in, oh, oh, yeah, you know, I have a dead brother, blah, 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 blah. He says, he says that, oh, fuck you, War Dog, you know, you're probably lying about it. What a great chat, yeah. Yeah, let, let, let's just assume a stranger lied about a dead brother, but listen to DSP and, and his depression, because it sounds totally legit. About this stuff, pot really helped me, all the best, Phil. You know, and some people actually tell me that, too. Not only just, you know, there are medication, pills and stuff you can take, but some people say stuff like mar over like marijuana and stuff. Yeah, take drugs. That 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 helps a lot. Look at look at a lot of people coming to say that, you know, the autopsy reveals that they were on drugs. I mean, very good, very good idea, DSP. Take drugs. Uh huh. Yeah, you want to listen to that? Oh, this cheer. Ooh, take a zanny. You know what I mean? Um, some people it helps. Uh, Wolfie Plays tipped me five dollars. Is still fairly new around here. Gotta say though, after listening to that, you've earned my utmost respect. Fair play. Thank you, Wolf. If anything, like I Thank said, you. the the purpose of this segment was to try to help people. 
Because I didn't have, in my life, I never had someone step up to me. Yeah, let's let's get some help, dude. Take drugs. Uh, ignore it. Get distracted by it. That that really helps. These non... Uh. And say, I understand. I get it because I have it too. And here's what you can do or I feel you. You know, you're not alone. I never had that. I never had a single person tell me that. So for me, it was a lot of introspection and a lot of trying to get around it myself. And it was real tough. Let me tell you. Let me tell um, you. Aaron PC did a 100-bit cheer. He's at the beginning of this year, I suffered extreme anxiety and panic attacks every day. This is something I couldn't control. I'm just now getting back on my feet. And luckily, with a good support system and wonderful girlfriend, I feel myself again. I feel like myself again. I haven't taken a Xanax in a month. I know where you're coming from, and I support you. That is great news. And Yeah, you know, take a Xanax and get left somewhere. But be sure to take care of mental health. But Leanna off. Well, this does leave her somewhere. Fuck it. Thanks for sharing that, Aaron. Thanks for and sharing Austin that, Aaron. Austin just cheers the cat as your angel. She is. I mean, you know, I don't have an angel. Cat's my angel. She is. She. I. I love cat. Cat's my soulmate. Real, real talk. Not gonna make me tear up again. You know, <laughs> real her, talk. Having her in my life makes my life a hell of a lot better. Yeah, fuck you, because, you know. You know, I was at a low point last year. If things didn't turn around, uh, you know, I don't know what would have happened. It was coming back. Real talk. It was coming back bad. It was coming back. Yeah, she's really an angel. Didn't want to go on stream. Didn't want to do much of anything, and 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 the fact that you don't want her to uh, go do things by herself, yeah, really bad for me, uh, with the negative stuff that happened to me last year, and she has been my saving grace, where she keeps me focused, she keeps me uh, on the path of positivity, when something negative again pops up and happens and says it's gonna fuck you over, she says no, don't let that come overtake your mind. Yeah, I wonder if that. It, oh my god, man. Uh, does does he live in Full House? Is this Full House? You have to be. You have to focus. On Is she from fucking Girl in the I, I I think she watched too much Girl in the Oh uh, yeah, to pierce the heavens. She tells me to to use my drill. I pierce through the heavens, dude. Yeah. Okay. On the positive, you have to focus on being here with me. You have to focus on being here on the positivity. Yeah, focus on being with me. Yeah, yeah. You get to stream and you have fun on stream and stuff. Um, and having that positivity and having that support means the world, and it changes things. But I know? thought your I thought your fans was your positivity. I thought your fans were a source of positivity, dude. Come in. No, it does, and it doesn't have to be a significant other. Like I said, it could be a friend, it could be a relative, it could be a family member. If that per what if you don't have family? What if you don't can't get a significant other? Guess you're fucked. Person could be the person to pull you out. Like he says uh, this, but then he said earlier that people don't have good relationships with their family, and they may not want to talk to them. So if you're depressed and you don't really want to talk to your family, and you don't have any friends, who do you talk to? How do you how how does you, how do you get friends and shit? If you have if you have problems, guess you're fucked. Um, that's what you really need, you know. That's what right, you guys, need. I think that's enough for me. You don't want to see me, you know, crying like a fucking baby here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Asian entrepreneur. Who's cutting onions? Did someone just start cutting onions in my house? I think someone's cutting onions downstairs. <laughs> All right. Final cheers from a couple people here. Uh, New Perpetual Man says, maybe others feel that they only have a devil on their shoulder and forget that the fact that they are their own angel. That got very deep. Very deep, yeah, okay. Gibby Pants, uh, Gibby Pats, excuse me. Sorry, I'm, I'm tearing up. I can't even read. He <laughs> cheered. He said, you always have our support, DSP. Thank you very much, Gibby. And a big bumbling black man cheered. He said, you got a good woman, Phil. Don't lose her. I don't intend to. I don't intend to. Uh, I, I keep a good eye on her. Uh, she, she can't go to the store without me. She can She can only go to work. That's the only place she can go without my leash. But other than that, she she's on my leash. I got her. Not going anywhere. It's the, not at all controlling, not a controlling relationship, not a fucked up relationship. But she's either at home cooking for me or she's at work, period. Good relationship, healthy relationship. Uh, she does play Overwatch. Uh, she loves her PS4 Pro a lot, but she's my angel. She tells me to pierce the heavens, dude. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Thank you very much. It's been a great podcast. What a bunch of crazy, uh, what a bunch of crazy uh, topics we talked about today. A wide variety of topics. I hope you enjoyed. I told you it was going to be our longest podcast ever. I've been broadcasting since 10, 15 a.m. It's now 4 p.m. And I'm ending the podcast. So thank you guys very much for watching. Whether you li- watched on. Look at this. He was going to be a better creator. Oh, wait, everyone. Thank you for watching my podcast. We covered a lot of topics, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Very emotional. On demand. On YouTube, on, on the King Hay Vlogs, whether you watched live on stream today, on Twitch, no matter how it is uh, that you did watch, thank you very much. And I hope that you, no matter what segment you watched, I hope you got something out of the show. All right. And Mark McCauley did a final cheer. He said, bye, Phil. God bless you. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time, whenever the next podcast may be. Dude, look at and, this. And uh, that's it for Hate Live. This is Dark Side Phil signing off. I hope you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Later. He tells us that he is about to cry. Oh, man. Emotional. Oh, man. He cried like a fucking baby. All right, everyone. That's the podcast. See you next time. Goes back to, to his fucking normal voice. And then at the end of the stream, after after we recorded, he was like, yeah, thanks for the, yeah, the participation. It was great. See you, Street Fighter. And then leaves. Got very emotional. Dude, it was very, very emotional. Uh, it's two hours and 20 minutes. You know what? Fuck it. We'll we'll go a little extra. We'll we'll be a little extra, dude. Black Mage C-Type cheered. And he said, your depression sounds like your detractors. How ironic is that? Seriously, people are so negative and toxic and horribly persistent. All they ever do is ride around on your back trying to put you down. That's depressing in and itself, but also quite... Actually, no, we're going to do this one. This actually shows the chat logs. So we'll do this. Super Meat Boy... DSB, DSB has been in a fucking, like, he has been going on and on and on, like, uh, people this show actually happened, okay, okay, the guy was a troll, snort. Is in the stream chat, whining and complaining, saying that I never talk to anyone. Unless- whining and complaining. Unless they tip me, uh, or, or they send me money, which is completely false. All- so this is what he says, now, now, now I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna go down the middle on this. Because I do think Super Meat Boy is, uh, has been a troll, but, but there's a but in this. He could just be trolling because as, as in the other video, people have been saying that detractors are only acting out of depression, dude. So they can, so, okay. Okay. So even if Super Meat Boy is a troll, and he's been banned before, etc., maybe what DSP should have done was not act like this. But let's see what he has to say first before we get on to it. So Zoom Meat Boy comes in. I got a virus. Sad face. Can uh, can my day get any worse? Now I think, by the way, I should say, I think there are other chat posts between this. Is I think this particular uh, screen cap just shows what Super Meat Boy said. So, there, there you go. Uh, sound good. Real talk. So the guy, so Super Meat Boy says, can my day get any worse? No, I hate my life, I'm depressed, sigh, not even Phil can help, no one cares, not even Phil, yeah right, sad face, I'm just uh, some money ma- I'm just some much money machine to fill if I'm not shelling out hundreds like swagons, I'm nobody, yeah, but it's not like uh, he even says anything to, any- to people unless you tip or cheer him, and then he always blocks people, he'll probably say I'm a troll or a detractor uh, when I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm not even listening. I'm not even listening anymore. Sad face. I want to apologize to Phil and everyone. I had taken my medication. I had to take my medication. Phil, thank you for carrying Metal Gear Rex. If we questioned if Four Dog Leader's lost brother is real or not, how do we know if Phil's depression is real? So, so as I said, okay, sure. To me, boy, might be trolling. Sure, whatever, but. Maybe what DSP should have done, which would have blown everyone's mind, is maybe he shouldn't have... Let's listen to how DSP says it first. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's... And no one cares. The only person from my memory that cared was Middle Gear Rex. He cared. He cared.
basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what This kind of leads to a bad president, by the way. If anyone comes to his chat, says, I'm depressed, they're going to immediately be like, oh, no one cares. So he kind of cements the mentality that no one cares. Okay. What are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. Gotta... <laughs> You're really depressed, eh? <laughs> Imagine if, if a detractor said that to Phil. Oh, boy. Derail my whole stream and be negative in the stream chat. Yeah, only I can talk about my depression. How dare you come to my stream and talk about your depression? We're here to talk about me. Re. Because no one's paying you attention. So now I'm paying you attention, all right? So here we go. How you doing? See? See? What he should have said is this. Okay, yeah, so Meat Boy, uh, I am doing a stream. I see that you, that you say you're depressed. If you really want to talk about it, you can email me. You can uh, you know, talk to me after the stream. Uh, it says right now I'm trying to get a stream started here. So I'm sorry I can't I can't talk to you about your depression right now. Maybe someone in the stream chat you can talk to through the through your DMs, through your whispers. You know, maybe someone will listen to you. Uh, it's just that right now I'm busy playing, uh, getting ready to start a stream. So I'm sorry you feel depressed right now, but right now I gotta focus on my stream. That's all he had to say, but he can't. He has to go straight to. Can't be real. He's a troll. God, God shit on him. He it has to be a troll. The thing is that he doesn't think how. Okay. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting the attention you want, so let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Here we go. Super Meat Boy. Here we go. What's up? What's going on? Now he's not talking. Now he's silent. I give him his time to shine. He says, everyone's ignoring him, and he wants attention. I'm giving him the attention he so craves, and now I hear no, no response. Where's the response? What do you want to talk about? What's going on? But the thing is that he could just look at what he said and said, I got a virus. And he say, oh, you got a virus? What kind of virus did you get? You know, he could go off from what he stated. Oh, you think that I only respond to uh, people giving me money? S sorry you think that way. I don't do that. I do read some, some, uh, I do read the chat. I just don't respond to all to it all. No, 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 just, 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 folk, just get angry and be an asshole to him. Good, good idea, Dave, DSP. Crickets. Crickets. All right, so there you go. <laughs> exactly. See, here's the difference, guys. I can tell the difference between someone who's being legit and someone who's literally just trying to derail the stream. But remember, how dare you tell people that their depression isn't real? It makes them feel even worse. Funny how that turns out. In no way did he say that. So that he could just hide behind that when he wants to feel when he wants people to feel sorry for him. No, no, of course not. And there you go. There Crickets. you go. Crickets, dude. And now he says, I'm not even listening anymore. Alright. Great. Well now you can be timed out for derailing the entire stream. You complained, you derailed the whole stream. So now we give you your time to talk, give you your attention you so crave, and then you don't pay attention. Well now you can sit outside the stream for ten minutes. Good lord. You know, sometimes you gotta realize that streams aren't just about you. That maybe, just maybe, there's a streamer trying to put out content, and there's other people watching. And it's not just about you. I'm just saying. <sighs> Alright, that was fun, wasn't it? Like that I was said, fun. I can tell legit, you can tell when someone's being, you know, serious, and actually wants to talk about something important, and you can tell when someone's just being a jerk trying to get, you know, derail the chat or whatever, so. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So anyway, guys, again, tonight, if you cheer sober tip, I will give you a shout-out. All right, Super Meat Boy came back into the chat just to prove that he was a troll all along, and it's now been permanently banned. Ba -ba 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 that he was a troll dude, because clearly, clearly this is a big tip-off. Bringing up Wardog apparently is an insult to him, because he does say in the uh, pre-stream that this is stuff uploaded here, well, part of it at least, 
that apparently, apparently, if you bring up War Dog, the whole thing with him, that's an insult to him. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you for watching the video. It's uh, it's been a, it's been a decent one. At least it's uh, a good time, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the vid. Uh, right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this, this video, dude. Snort. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. And remember, positive thoughts. Don't worry, Cleo is here. Look, I'll even do a little gift for you guys. I'll, I'll even enlarge Cleo for you guys. Look, look at that bun. Look at her. She, she looks like that she is ready to do something. Look at, look at that face. That is, that is Cleo. The face of a very, very big bun. She's a big bun. Big bun Cleo here. See you later.